could Jeffrey Dahmer kill you? Hell, like, I got to fuck Jeffrey up. Jeffrey only could kill people because because he he's drugging them. them. I don't do drugs. <laughs> I don't drink. What if he force fed you that shit? Man, I'd have been like, why? What you feeding me for, Jeffrey? <laughs> what are you talking about? And I don't, and, and I'll never let a white man feed me. <laughs> Think it's good, <laughs> yo. You, you had to get that one off. Yeah, I never let a white man feed me. Hey, real shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty did it before. <laughs> what, what, Humpty Dumpty fell on my lap. Damn, there's one more but between that. I know, right? You forgot. Damn, I folded. Folding early is crazy. Hey, bro. What was you talking about before? You were talking about sword fighting? I, no, I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> you you said you did it in high school. No, I didn't. I, was, I asked you. No, you said. I swear. I, I said no, and you was like. You lying like you did it before. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna solve any podcast. Like I said some such shit. You said that shit, bro. You ever heard of you ever heard of soggy biscuit? Yes, I've heard of soggy <laughs> biscuit. That's some, that's some union shit that you, Tyrone, you J, all y'all no. niggas played, bro. I didn't play that game. Yeah, some homos, bro. I didn't play that game. But you know, we don't got a problem with homos, though. Of course but. not. I mean, yeah, of course not. <laughs> nah, we don't got a problem with them. Shout out to all y'all people. We love y'all. Shout out to the community why would you say that <laughs> what the fuck bleep it out <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we gotta leave it in bro you know what i realized bro niggas only get canceled for a week you don't get you only get canceled if you allow yourself to get canceled that's what i'm saying if you don't allow yourself to get canceled then you good like sunny v2 made a video about the uh mr mr b situation with chris and mr beast commented on it and every youtuber was trashing him Oh, you're you're a piece of shit. You should have made this content. This is this is distasteful. Blah blah blah. Yeah. You know what happened? He ignored that shit. Uh-huh. That was that that video got about six million views. <laughs> he ignored all the controversy and just kept making content. And guess what? He didn't get like film. No one, everybody forgot about it. He didn't get canceled. Exactly. You only get canceled if you allow yourself to get canceled and then start apologizing. That's why if I, if I ever get famous, if I do some crazy shit. And I'm like, niggas trying to cancel me. I swear to God, I won't apologize. <laughs> I said it. I'm going to stand I'm, Whatever I said, I'm going to stand on whatever I said. I swear to God, I won't apologize. <laughs> on my mother, I won't, bro. Whatever I said, I said that shit. Wait, like, wh- like what if it's really what, bad? Whatever I, if it came out of my mouth, I said that shit, bro. You said it? I said it. <laughs> Especially if you got me on video or something. Or, 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 I said it, but I'm not apologizing, bro. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep going around life like I did, like I didn't say it. I might say it again. That's how you got to be. I might just say it again, just, just cause. Mm. Real shit, but that's the that's the that's the formula. Think about it, Joe Rogan got canceled. He, he, they thought he was, he was about to get canceled. But guess what? Edward. He kept he apologized. Though I was just tasteful, but I'm like nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I say that shit every day, nigga. Like, <laughs> and who's gonna stop me, nigga? I would have kept saying this shit. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna double down, bro. You're not gonna cancel me. I'm gonna keep saying. Okay, it. I don't know about doubling down. You can't double down. Just got you just got to do what it, Mr. Depen- Beast did. Pen, depends on how bad whatever I said. I might just say it again. Depending on how bad it is. If it's Max, if it's OD Max, and like let's say like I was in a PlayStation party and niggas got audio of me saying some crazy shit, I might just ignore it. I'm not apologizing though. That's the last thing I'll do. Once you apologize, they won. Because now you are, you're guilty. Yeah. Well, now I'm guilty, but now I'm like, oh, I'm showing remorse, and maybe maybe what if the apology is not, not sincere enough? Because if not, if I apologize, it's not going to be sincere. It's going to oh. be scripted. I'm not going to mean it. <laughs> I'm not gonna mean it at all. So you feel me? And then I'm like, oh, he just he just apologizes, but for the views or whatever. That was the worst apology I've ever seen ever. Now I gotta apologize for my apology. Like, like you feel me? No. Like, like, I, like you see Kanye, he didn't apologize. And what? Guess what? Adidas want him back for double whatever he was making. Exactly, bro. Maybe he was right. Like like when Kevin Hart got uh got what you call it. For the Oscars that one time, he got can't try to get canceled for his old tweets, and he and he was like, yeah, well, it's my old tweets back then. It wasn't if him, back then those type of jokes was acceptable. I'm not apologizing for my old tweets, and he everybody was behind him. And then he apologized. Oh, he did ass. He did ass. Then he apologized. He didn't, he didn't keep. He didn't stay. Stern, uh, he didn't bro. stand on his. He didn't stand on it, bro. I, Damn, I, I swear bro. to God, if I ever get canceled, whatever I said. I'm doubling down. I said it, bro. <laughs> not apologizing, bro. Yeah, we Fuck got that y'all. shit on film, bro. Episode 88, bro. No records podcast. Remember this. If we ever, we, when we blow up, now if ever, because when we blow up, remember I said this shit. If you ever try to cancel me for some shit I said on here, <laughs> I'm going to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> you can see this nigga Corey on Shave Room somehow. But can comedians really get canceled for real? That's the thing, right? I think Patrice O'Neill said this, right? Yeah. Comedy is tricky, right? Because every. 
wherever you say something, it all comes from a all comes from the same place. You're trying to make somebody laugh. Mm-hmm. It all that's all comes from the same place. You're trying to make somebody laugh. You're trying to make a joke. Trying to make something funny. Whether how it's taken or not, it's like you know, it, depending on you feel me with the world we live in now, especially you can't really say nothing. Yeah. But like I said, it all comes from the same place. You're trying to make somebody laugh. Yeah. And it might be offensive. It might not be offensive. It might be might be ass. The joke might be ass. It might not be ass. It might you know reach the person it's supposed to reach. But mm-hmm. that's where all comedy comes from. Yeah. So that's why I like. Unless you like Louis C.K. or you feel me, like you ain't really getting canceled as comedian. Like, even like Dave Chappelle did that special where he was he was hawking trannies. Yeah, <laughs> he was going crazy on them, and he got he got backlash on it. And guess what he did? He went back out and made more tranny jokes. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I did. He doubled down. I, I, I'm gonna make more tranny That's jokes. That's gonna be you. Yes, bro. He met. He 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 got he got. He tried to get canceled, but they tried to cancel him for making tranny jokes. They had a whole segment about tranny jokes <laughs> on his next in his next thing, bro. Oh man, double down on it, bro. I'm just saying, bro. What 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 uh what uh what's his name? Dion Waiter said when they won the championship, Mister Double Down and Double It Up or whatever he said. Mm. I, I, I don't remember what he said But he said something like that He said remember when you broke Dad broke Stop it huh? <laughs> Fuck that Hey bro It's like As long Listen to what Corey said bro If we get Nah we ain't gonna get cancelled If, he Nigga, get if canceled, we get cancelled I swear to god If Darius apologize I'm hacking his account And I'm deleting it <laughs> <laughs> Darius not apologizing yo, bro yo, If yo. anybody on this podcast get, Try to get cancelled We not apologizing bro We said it <laughs> if it came out of my mouth, I said it because I apologize. I'm, I still said it. I meant it. So why am I apologizing? <laughs> Yo, bro, you, you want to do the you want to do the intro of the thing? Well, I get this shit. I'm not really good at doing intro. But uh, let's, I, let's 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 try. try it? If I do uh, ass, edit it out though. All right. No, I'm not gonna. I was gonna stay. Chill, here. chill, chill. Don't, don't expose me. Yo, 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 yo. Back with another episode of No Regulars, episode 88. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> 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 oh, we you, we you. Episode 88. We back again with my boy Darius is the host. I'm the guest. I'm Corey Petty. Corey the man, Blink Man, the Pink Panther. You know who I am. This is Darius the host, the man, You're the, the host, myth, the too. legend. I'm the host, he's the host, he's the man, the myth, the legend, the pioneer, he's, the, he's Mr. Beast of the No Regulars, guess what, he has a big, ne- my bad, but, you know what I'm saying, my boy, my boy Leon with the cornrows, this is the man, this is the greatness man, he's here, he's here to stay, episode 88, and you better follow all of it, the discourse, the YouTubes, the, what else we got, uh, Instagram, the Twitter, the, oh, Twitter, shut up, 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 Apple Podcasts, um, Google Podcast. Uh, what else we got? Spotify. Spotify. <laughs> That's it? That's everything? Uh, meme page coming soon. Meme page coming soon. No regulars gaming coming soon. <laughs> merch dropping. Dropping merch. Dro- mer- drop mer- merch dropping in two weeks. We, dro- we dropping hoodies. <laughs> um, uh, what else we doing? Uh, no regulars reacts coming soon. No regulars 2 coming soon. All-star game coming in the summer. I think, you, I think you covered it all. That was great. What else we doing? Yo, um, hit the Discord. You can argue with me, UJ, Tyrone. Um, Fritz is a little <laughs> sensitive, so I'm gonna argue with Fritz. Um, <laughs> don't argue with Tom because he's gonna he's gonna go way too hard. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Jordan only be talking in the Discord. I don't know. Now nah, right? Jordan will be talking. Yeah, sometimes. I don't know. Argue with try to get Bash him. be Bash be talking in the Discord. Yeah. Oh, my son, my son, Swagger King, hella swag, Swagger King. You feel me? Hit him up. You feel me? <laughs> we all gonna talk. My boy Fritzler. That's his name, right? Yeah. Fritzel. Fritzler. 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 Yo. You need help, bro. My boy Fritzler. Call everybody. Everybody call him Fritzler in his next podcast. Everybody <laughs> comment Fritzler. <laughs> if, you make, if you make it to the end of this podcast, what we say at oh, the end? Oh, this is the beginning of the podcast. Do, do we say at the beginning or the end? We say at the end. Okay. So they right, can watch mind. it to the end. All right, all right, never mind. Never, oh, never discount mind. for the hoodies in here if you notice. Ha <laughs> fuck niggas. You said discount for the hoodies? Nah, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Nick. first, 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 first two niggas to uh, subscribe after this, after this, um, after this drop. Darius gonna send you two hundred dollars each, so make sure you just you subscribe. <laughs> Yo, why you keep doing this? I don't got money like that. Oh wait, I do. We up, nigga. Yeah, fuck, nigga. We up, nigga. <laughs> what you talking about, bro? Darius gonna send you a thousand dollars. Next follower will send you a thousand dollars, bro. <laughs> oh, Mr. Beast for real, now. Yeah, bro. I told you he's Mr. Beast of the podcast. You feel me? Make sure you follow us on all platforms and all social media, so we could, uh, you know, we trying to blow up. You feel me? I'm trying to fuck Ice Spice. So you feel me? The only way, only way we can make that happen is if, if, if it's y'all. You feel me? Like, you feel me? Yeah. So. <laughs> Welcome to another. Like he said, I ain't gotta say that was great, bro. Thank you, man. I that, was, that might have been better. Did he gotta take a swig of water? Mm-hmm. I think I need another water. This nigga, oh, he's gonna have to pee again. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
I'm going to hold it. You going to hold it? I'm going to choke. That's why I stopped. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, Corey, what's your phone number? I'm going to send you something. We do ASMR, too. <laughs> my phone number is... Crazy. I know that wasn't your phone number. No, that is my phone. No, that's not your phone number. My, no, my number is... Hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Apple Podcasts. Hit me up on Instagram. Whose hit me up on Snapchat. Hit me on Twitter. Hit me up on all that good that shit. That's not man. your number. It really is. You better edit that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> it really is my number. Wait, what is it? Do not put that. Eight. You better, better blink it out. Or blink the middle out or something at least. My social security is two two. <laughs> <laughs> My credit card is one one four one one. Yo, are you good? <laughs> Yo. All right, brother. This is what we're gonna start the pod off with the, with the test. Oh, I like tests. We're I both gonna like take tests. this test. Okay, cool. Oh, you really sent me something. I'm about to send to you right now. Let's see. <laughs> Did you get it? No, I didn't get it yet. Did you get it now? I heard the doop. <laughs> it delivered. I oh, I got it. I got it. All right, open it take up. Take over, take over, DW. Ad, yo, yo, bro. Leave me alone. I made this in like eighth grade. Bro, grow the made, fuck up, bro. I made that in like eighth grade, bro. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Ah. Oh, no. That's bad, bro. I got fuck this it. from another podcast. Shout out to my nigga Dom if you watch this. I doubt you do. We're going to take an autistic test. Me and Corey. I ain't just going to leave you dry. We should have took the uh, the gender test for real. <laughs> <laughs> next you said, up, next you, said, you said we uh we we support the the LGWXYZ community. We might as well see where we, we do support. Her. We might we might as well see where we are in the spectrum. See if we really who we think we are. Next time, next time, next one, next, next, next one. All right, all right. So did you start it? No, I didn't start. It. Right. Yeah, we're time. gonna do. I'm a, so I'm gonna read the question, uh -huh. and then don't tell me your answer, but you just answer it. All right. So I'm gonna read the question. So there's 30 questions for this autistic test. So let's see <laughs> if we autistic. <laughs> Cause yeah. Loki autism. You I'm gonna can, say I'm, I'm gonna say I'm the smartest nigga in America, and autism niggas autism niggas with autism be superheroes for real. That's bro. what I'm saying. I'm a superhero in like every form. Of I want to be autistic know? right now, bro. I don't think I want. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna work. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I, I pass this test and be like, yeah, you all the way on the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the first one is it? I prefer to do things on my own rather than with others. Is that the, uh -huh. all right. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna answer that one. Alright, you on question two now? Uh-huh. I prefer doing things the same way. For instance, my morning routine or trip to the supermarket. Just answer the question. Oh, I know. I'm supposed to nod my so, head. I forgot. Uh, so the answers <laughs> so, are definitely agree, slightly agree, slightly disagree, and definitely. This is called disagree. a Likert scale. I learned this in research methods. Like, What's it called? A Likert scale. Oh, you nice. You took research methods too? I took that shit. Yeah, I'm paying attention too. Type shit. Alright. Question question three. I find myself becoming strongly absorbed in something, even obsessional. I answered it. <laughs> Question four. I'm very sensitive to noise and will wear earplugs or cover my ears in certain situa situations. That's some freak shit. <laughs> it's like the, the accountant. You ever seen the accountant? The, what the... The accountant with... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Batman. Uh, ben, ben, ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. I'm, that's the. Oh, no, I'm thinking about the shit with the um, the ambulance nigga. Not that one. Nah. I think I know what you're talking about, but he I don't. Was, remember. He's autistic, but he's an assassin, and he's also an accountant. Really? Yeah. That movie, nigga nice. The movie's dope, bro. I'm not gonna spoil <laughs> it. You don't sound like you, you don't seem like you've seen it. No, nah, so. no, nah, I probably didn't. You want to read the fifth question? Sure. Damn. That, now my my uh, what's it called? My <laughs> reading IQ. My reading. My reading level is gonna be exposed. <laughs> Sometimes people say I am being rude, even though I think I'm being polite. Okay. I'm reading six too. Nah, I got six. Right. I find it easy to imagine what characters from a book might look like. All right, you can read the next one. I find it easy to talk in groups of people. I find it easy to talk in groups of people. Oh, I said it right. 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 Chill okay, off. okay. Chill off me. Chill off me. I said it right. Okay. Uh, okay. I am more interested in finding out about things than people. Okay. I'm going. Yeah, go ahead. I find numbers, dates, and strings of information fascinating. I'm scared. I prefer nonfiction books and films to fiction. Wait, what does that have to do with any... What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait. Us, wait, 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 wait. That does. 
I find it upsetting if my daily routines upset or changed. It's difficult, me for, it's difficult for me to understand other people's facial expressions and body language. Okay. That's a good, that's a real sign of autism too. It's, what? It's like. If you can't like look at other people's emotions. Uh-huh. And like can't tell that I can't, I can't look at you like you, you're clearly sad. I can't be like, damn, you sad. I just oh, like, like you just like, oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Doesn't like that what some serial killers have that shit? Yeah. That's, uh, that's also a, ser- a serial killer. Like a sociopath? A, a, a sociopath, yeah. Mm. They can't look, they can't relate like, people's emotions. That's crazy. All right. I don't have any problems making small talk with new people. I don't have problems. Yeah, I don't have any problems. I just be I just be chatting though. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't really be I don't really be serious. I just be saying random shit. <laughs> I notice very small changes in a person's appearance. Like you notice? Oh. Okay. I, I agree. When I was young, I used to play lots of let's pretend or imaginary games. I don't remember. Let me think. Did I? I think I did. I probably did. I like collecting information about things I am interested in. I like meeting new people. That was 17? Yeah. Oh, people. People close to me say I talk about the same things repeatedly. Damn, you, you do that. You do that. Oh, shit. That laughs oh, at it all. Oh, shit. I find it easy to work out what people are thinking or feeling just by looking at their facial expressions. Fuck. New social situations make me feel anxious. It's more important to me to carefully plan out any activities, it definitely didn't say out either. It's important to me <laughs> to carefully plan any activities I am going to do. I find it hard to work out what people's intentions are. I will find. I would find it really hard to play imaginary f- games with children. Oh, I yeah, I would find it really hard to play imaginary games with children. Like right now. I guess, yeah. So say like you're playing with like a kid. Yeah, grown ass man, nigga. What you mean? That's a tree over there. Ain't no fucking tree, nigga. <laughs> Shoot. I'm a good diplomat and can help ease difficult social or work situations. Okay. I'm often the last person to understand a joke. <laughs> 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 nah, because I'm definitely the nigga that if I don't get a joke, I'm looking at the comment section like, what the fuck is they niggas talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. All right. I like doing things spontaneously. I mean, like, random, right? Yeah, like, just, like, whatever. Like, you just go. If I'm interrupted doing something, I find it hard to get back to what I was doing beforehand. Go ahead, Cor. I notice patterns in all things all the time. Well, that's not what it's like. <laughs> I notice patterns in things all the time. Yo, my reading level is being exposed right now. <laughs> Yo. I'm very, I have some very strong interests and get upset if I can't pursue them. You I can tell if someone I'm talking to is getting bored. All right, this is the last question, bro. That was my last question. Yeah, so now, oh, shit. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, no! The results indicate you experience many typical signs of autism. Oh, okay, I got the same thing. Based on your results, there's a strong possibility that you might be autistic. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 20. What you got? Wait. How do you see the score? Where is it? On top? Mine is right here. Where? Oh, shit. I got an 18. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm autistic? <laughs> I'm on the spectrum? <laughs> Yo. This shit says, this just says, based on your results, there's a strong possibility that you are autistic. <laughs> What, what should, should I do now? Based on your results, there's a strong possibility that you are autistic. Please remember that this result is only indicative and does not form a formal diagnostic. However, people with your scores, with scores like yours, often benefit from a comprehensive assessment to provide an official recognized diagnostic. No now way in hell, Now they're trying to tell me to pay for some fucking treatment. Fuck out of here. <laughs> it's just a scam. I'm not Wait, autistic. there's no way. This those are normal questions. You tell me niggas don't think Just like that? I think I'm lying, bro. Niggas say I'm s***, bro. Oh, they're not s***. They're trying to say I'm autistic. You ain't even talk. I, I apologize for that one. <laughs> Yo, niggas trying to say I'm autistic, bro. I told you I'm a superhero for real, nigga. Superhero in the flesh. 
Yeah. Wait, yeah. everything does makes, tell me everything oh. makes sense now. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, it really does. Wait, which do you think? Do you remember which ones you got like right? Like you pick, like yeah. for the ones with like uh, you see patterns in the world. Do you see that? I do. <laughs> You don't see patterns I do see patterns in the world. <laughs> yeah. Like see, patterns. Do you, like, do you see patterns in the world? What do you mean by that? Like as in like shit goes like, yeah, like certain ways. Like, like people do the same shit. Yeah, like let's say like you feel me, you wake up. Like let's say if you if your dad wakes up every morning, he wakes up, he brushes his teeth, he shits, he lotion his feet, he, he he shaves his chest, and then and then he puts his hat on. And he does that, like that's a pattern if he does that every morning, you know? What the fuck? Like me, I know when I wake up, I do the same shit every morning. I wake, I, I do the alarm shit. I look at the, I look at the ceiling for about about five minutes before I actually get up. <laughs> I Wait. get up, I, I get up, I do the same stretch. It's the, you feel me? I do the same stretch. You tell me you look at the ceiling. I do. I, I sit there like this for like five minutes before I actually get up. <laughs> or that's me decide. That's me deciding. That's me deciding if I'm actually going to get up or go to sleep. <laughs> go back to sleep, though. Like, feel me. After the five minutes, I either get up or go back to sleep. You feel me? Oh, then I fuck, then I go bro. to the bath. Then I go to the bathroom. I sit down, take my shit. I wipe my ass. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, I finish wiping. Then I scroll on TikTok for another another 10, 15 minutes. Make myself late. Get up, brush my teeth. You feel me? Yeah. If I if I have to get in the shower, I jump in the shower. You feel me? Make myself another late for another five, 10 minutes, and then you feel me? I'm about, I'm about my day. What the Jay? You want to take the test? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say while we's talking, we, Jay's gonna take the test. You better be autistic get. too. So I'm playing. Yeah, it man. better be. It better be wrong. There's no way. There's no way in hell, bro. What the fuck? That's crazy, bro. But like, what are the tests they said? It said like they don't. You don't like messing up your routine. I don't. I don't like messing up my. That's routine. what I'm saying. I like doing my this. routine is very like, and it's, it's it could be my routine is bad too because it's it, it wastes time and it's and it's. And it's, it's it's sort of lazy, but I don't like going going out of my routine. Yeah, my, my, you tell me that's autistic. It can be. What the hell? Like if you watch the accounting, yeah, if you watched it. He goes, damn, I don't want to spoil the movie. Oh yeah, I know that. but he does the same thing every day, and then once he like that's once autism. You, I thought that's just being or like he does the same steps, and then let's say something like fucks up his steps. You feel me? He fucking break like he freaks out like he loses his fucking mind. Damn, that's really me, low key. You feel key. me? He loses it like 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 in the movie though. It's exaggerated. He loses his shit if something freaks out. Or like let's say like he was doing something. Like, yeah. In the movie, he was doing something, and someone erased it. Yeah. And like feel me like erases erases work, and he didn't get to finish it, and he like lost his like feel me that fucked up his routine. Now he lost his mind like he couldn't he couldn't function not finishing whatever he had to finish. Cause like for me, I feel like I do the same thing every day, but I feel like if I don't do it. It's like bad luck, and I don't like change either. It's like a, a little, a little bit of change. Like, I, like, I, like shit, like bothers me. Like, I, like if you like something changing my like my life or like daily routine, like I, I, I fucks me up. I'd yeah, be like, I'd be like, fuck that shit. Damn, mom, I'm, if you watching, we gotta go to the doctor. I might be on this like, <laughs> day. Like, damn, bro, that the ad lib of my shoe was gone, and now, I, and now I, and now I can't. Yo, look, I ain't gonna lie. Now, now I keep looking at my shoe. Like, damn, the ad lib is going. That shit not even that deep, but like that shit was just there. And now it's not. I ain't go. Oh my god, yo! That's why I don't want to cut my hair. Like I was like, damn. Like if I cut my hair, I'm gonna lose my shit. Like damn, it was just hair. And now it's on the floor. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> yo, cause like with my pillows, like I always had the same pillowcases. That's me too. You feel me? Yo. You wash them though, right? I do wash my oh, pillowcases. I, oh, I'm about to say, Jay, you might want to get up. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yo, wait, hold on. What else? Do you keep a lot of? Do you keep like? This like, do you throw out clothes? I, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say I don't throw out nothing, bro. Oh, I, I'm low key a hoarder. I don't throw out shit, bro. I don't throw if, out. Nothing, if Jay's bro. not autistic, this is bad. <laughs> she she want to lie now, just what she want. <laughs> she don't want to be on the Yo, spectrum. Yo, what the fuck? Damn, and we we high on the spectrum. It's not like I'm, we, I'm a twenty, bro. Nigga, I'm eighteen. <laughs> God damn. God. I, I knew something was wrong with me for real. I, mean, I should get I should get funding from Rutgers. So damn, me, bro. Extra, a scholarship money. I made it through college. With, with uh, autism, with autistic, with autistic. <laughs> like Kyle, remember Kyle? Yeah, Kyle did the same thing every day, bro. And if you if you fucked up Kyle's routine, he would, he would freak out, bro. <laughs> that was the little the that Asian was dude. The little Asian. Me? Every day, woke up around five thirty in the morning, yeah. did his dribbling drills. You feel me? Went to the gym, shot his whatever how many shots he shot. Yeah. Came back. You feel me? Ate ate a bowl ate a bowl of Frosted Flakes. You feel me? He did the same thing every day. Do you still, do you have his number? No, I got that nigga number, bro. Why I got didn't you? Snapchat. 
Does he still post on Snapchat? I wonder how he's doing. Every once in a while, he'll post something. Every once in a while, he'll send something to our like our old group chat and be like, like I remember when Braun broke the record, he said something to our group chat and was like, Braun broke the record, and he was like, Oh, what's up, Kyle? He never answered after that. Oh, uh, I wonder how Kyle's doing. Bro. He hated us, bro. So I, I don't know. Bro. Really? Because y'all used to make fun of him. We didn't never make fun of him. Yeah, I used to mess with him. We used to mess with him though. We never made fun of him. We used to like fuck with him because we thought like you know. He's on the spectrum. It's funny. He's on the spectrum. <laughs> He's funny. Remember the shit with Quincy, bro? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can say that. Nah, I don't want to say it either. <laughs> that, was, that was the funniest shit of all time. <laughs> I was really defending him. Like, yeah, now nah, he talking about this, right? <laughs> right, Kyle? That nigga said no. <laughs> with the straightest face imaginable. Nope, I'm talking about that. <laughs> I was like, hey, yo, bro. He said, I mean, it is big. <laughs> yo. Like, oh, God, bro. Yo. Um, yo, you know, uh, me and Jay went to the movies yesterday. Which I seen. We watched uh, that new Evil Dead Rising oh, movie. I said, yeah, yeah, I watched uh, Guardians. Guardians. Nah, I didn't watch the first two. That's why. So I didn't. You didn't watch it. the first two. I just mm-hmm. want to know. I, I want somebody to spoil it for me too. I want to know if Rocket died. Cause I, I don't want to know. I, yeah. I, I think I think Rocket died. I hope he didn't, but I think he did. And if Rocket died, I'm not going to see it. Really? I don't think Jay want to see it too, even if he dies and shit. But it's like, but do you do you know the Evil Dead movies? Ooh. You never watched the Evil Dead movie? I don't like scary movies. Oh, you don't like scary movies? Mm -mm. You never watched any scary movies? Jason, Freddy, Michael Myers, Halloween, Mm. Scream. Nah, this one, it wasn't, it was scary, but it wasn't like OD. So I remember, my bad. Oh, no, you go, you go. I I took this girl, like maybe like in 10th grade. I wanted to go to the movies. Yeah. And I wanted to see San Andreas. And she wanted to see Insidious 3. And I was pissed the whole movie. Like I'm sitting there, I'm not watching it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting there like this the whole movie. <laughs> pissed. I'm like, I do not want to see this fucking movie, bro. It's not that scary movies aren't that bad though. We gotta watch a scary movie one day, bro. Who? Me and you. We'll move. How scary are we talking? We gotta we gotta start our small. So it's like we'll do like like scream. I can watch scream. That's not scary. All right. Uh, like oh, so you're talking like demons and shit? If it could be real, I don't want to watch it, bro. Like what the you Conjuring. Mean, scream? That, Scream could be real. Man, that's a serial killer. Ain't nobody... I'll fuck Scream up. Hey, gang. So, but, like, things like, like ghost shits. I can't... That might be real. And I, if, 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 if a ghost wanted to come in my room and conquer me, bro, it ain't nothing... I, I'm gonna give up, bro. I'm not fighting <laughs> you, bro. Take me, bro. That, <laughs> God, you got me, bro. Let me... What's the... I think the next... I think Insidious 4 comes up. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not seeing it. Come on, bro. All right, we gotta, we gotta start something small. There gotta be something. You know, if If... I would have watched Smile with you. Remember? You heard, yeah, yeah. I would have watched Smile with you. You would have? I would have watched that. That shit was scary. For real? I would have watched that with you. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. I could do Smile. You could do Smile? Mm-hmm. So if, if another Smile come out, I'll watch it with you. All right, all right. I haven't seen it yet, but I want to watch it. Something like that, though. Yeah. Okay, okay. I haven't seen it because I can't watch it by myself either. Like, oh, of course not. If you watch scary movies by yourself, you're kind of weird. Yeah, I can't watch it by myself. <laughs> but I want to watch it, though. So I wanna, if I'm, I'm going to watch it with somebody eventually. You got a 12? Said you experienced very few signs of autism and are probably not autistic. Yo, core, <laughs> bro. I'm going to have everybody on this pod do this shit because like, is this like... I'm, is this, I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid to do the gender test now. I'm like, they, might tell me, <laughs> they might tell me I'm asexual some weird shit like that. They can say asexual. Nah, but... Nah, we can probably... Yeah, I said weird shit. <laughs> You're, hey, bro. Like you said, if you get canceled... There you go, brother. You didn't know I had a Lion King tattoo, did you? This is the autistic shit we talking about. This shit ain't lying. They ain't never lied, bro. Yo, I remember when I, first, when I first got my first tattoo, bro? I was like so like, like in my head. I'm like, yo. Like, it's something on my body now that I can't take off. And like, it, I was like fucked up for like a, like a good two weeks. And I was like, fuck, I'm getting another one. <laughs> well, like, as in like... I, it was like, I was just looking at my arm. I had a video, like I took a video the day before. I'm just like, yo, like, this my is- arm would never be the same again. This is a new arm now because it's a tattoo here. <laughs> like, it, it bothered me that it was something there that I couldn't remove. Like Really? Like and like, then you got another one just to make it feel better? Or no, just- I got another one because I was just like, fuck it, I like tattoos now. So like, how many... Did you get another tattoo since your leg tat? Since the last one, yeah, nah, I just been broke though. Oh, what you I mean, mean, I never broke because you feel me, niggas is up all the time. But exactly, bro. God, I can't afford a tattoo. <laughs> oh, but you you got a job, you just one big. I, but a tattoo's expensive though. 
let's say that it wouldn't be wise for me to buy a tattoo right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Let's 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 because all my tattoos is like ain't I, I ain't getting no fifty dollar hundred dollar tattoo. How much you ta- what's your most expensive tattoo? This last one probably was like four fifty. Four fifty? Five hundred. Um that's not bad. All my tattoos been above one one seventy five. One seventy five? All my tattoos been above. How long do what's the longest one like that last one that I was about to cry on? How long was that? Like three, four hours. Maybe three and a half. See, so do you have another idea of what you want on your? I body? know exactly what I want. I know like every tattoo I want for like for until like you know, until cover my body. I know every tattoo I want. So what? I know something changes. So what, what? What's the next one that you want? My mom. Oh, you like a picture of your mom? A picture of her pregnant. Oh, okay. I get, her, I get a little silhouette of her pregnant. Let me get a picture of her, my grandfather to fill the gap right there. Okay, so you gotta have like like all over your leg. Oh, I'm covering my leg. Yeah, then my on my arm, I'm with the David Goliath tattoo. Ooh, David Goliath with the slingshot. Yeah, that's hard. This is the story behind it. You feel me? I always been an underdog. For me, I always be, always be overcame the odds. You feel me? Real nigga, bro. You feel me? Understand, gang. I ain't Pete Lock though. He won. <laughs> <laughs> Lock, Lock won. That's the only odd I ain't overcome. Hey, me? bro. You feel me? That's the opposite. Outside of that, you feel me? Then the next one I want is a like a Jersey, New York tattoo to like. You know, feel me? Tell me where I came from. You feel me? Type shit. So, from, do you know I'm where from, it's gonna be? I went, at? From, I went from Brooklyn to Rock Creek. You feel me? Brooklyn to T-Neck. Yes, sir. Nope, I never lived in T-Neck. <laughs> Not yet, at least. <laughs> you it's, gonna a po- it's a possibility. I'm oh, you are you you moving right? Hopefully. <laughs> oh, if you move to T-Neck, you know it's up, bro. I ain't gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm talking about Inglewood still. <laughs> nah, niggas sick, bro. But, but, yeah. but I got a, I got a question. Since we was talking about um, scary movies and shit before, uh-huh. right? So you're being chased by these one of these guys for 24 hours. If you survive, you get five million dollars. Which one would you rather it be? Mm-hmm. Pennywise, no, the guy from Scream, or Chucky. So Pennywise is out the table. Well, really, maybe not. Because I mean, if you want to be technical, he didn't kill, he didn't kill uh, like adults. He only killed kids. So, but at this moment, he's after you though. Yeah, yeah, no. Because the only way to beat him is to not be scared. Yeah, you can't tell me like oh, you, I don't care how gangster you think you are. You're gonna be fucking scared of him. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? The only way yeah, for him yeah. to not for him to not kill you is for you to not be scared. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? If if he wants to and he toys with people, if he's out to kill me, he's gonna go kill me. He's not gonna toy with me for 24 hours. Okay. He's gonna kill me. If I'm if, I, if I'm scared, he's gonna kill me. Mm. And it's, I can't hide from him. He's gonna pop up under my bed or wherever I go. I can't hide from him. Okay. So like yeah, like he's gonna kill me. So that's out the table. So is it up between the dude from Scream or Chucky? See, that's the thing, though. Man. I think I'll fuck Scream up. That's what I'm saying. But, like, he can still sneak up on you, though. That's what I'm saying. But like, I, feel, if I, I feel like if I sit like this, right, for 24 hours mm-hmm. with a gun right here. But what if he starts killing the people that you love and shit? See, that's that's not... You didn't, you didn't, you didn't say all that. I know, but, like, what if he's like that? Like, he can do whatever, but he's still coming after you. So I'm going to tell my loved ones, we all sitting in this room. Every, oh, together? Everybody, <laughs> you feel me? Everybody, we sitting in this room for 24 hours, bro. <laughs> if somebody come through that door You watch the door You watch the closet It's a window You watch the window <laughs> You gonna stay in the room? Yep <laughs> for, 20, for 24 hours nigga You got a gun You got a gun You got a gun nigga We survived this We, 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 we rich nigga We up <laughs> so let's, gonna, let's survive What if you don't got gu- Well you got You got enough guns for that? We go, nigga we gonna find some guns nigga. You gonna find <laughs> some out, bro. So you gonna take Scream Nah I'm taking Chucky bro Chucky's easy That's light But Chucky don't die though Nigga, yeah, but guess we said twenty four hours. All I gotta do is he's gonna come at me with a knife. Yeah, because he's not he's not smart enough to pick up a gun. Okay, so I'm coming at me with a knife, right? All I gotta do is grab him and put him in the box for tw- and sit on that box for twenty four hours, bro. What if he claws his way out? Now I gotta grab him, put him in a different box for twenty more, five, bro. All I gotta do is prevent, not get him out. I have to keep him in my sight for twenty four hours, bro. That's all I gotta do. Mm. Damn, you kind of. I was gonna say the the dude from Scream, bro. All I gotta do is keep Chucky in, in my sight for twenty four hours, bro. And that's how you could. All right, he's the dog, bro. All I gotta do is look at him for twenty four hours. Damn, bro. what if he finds a way? To, how how the niggas be getting killed by Chucky, bro? Because he sneak up on them. Oh, and he so. pretend like he's a toy. He sneak up on and kill him. You feel me? Mm. Or he escape with his little box and then yeah. he sneak up on you. Nope. I want. I'm gonna tell him to come 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 here. Come on. What if he what if he stabs you real good, bro? Not gonna do it, bro. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a vest on. I'm gonna be prepared, bro. You gonna be prepared for that? Come shit? on, <laughs> come on, come get me. <laughs> I'm gonna grab him, and guess what? He's not gonna. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna sit in the room with him for 24 hours. Mm. What? You're, you're not going nowhere. What killer you think you can't do that with? What killer? Yeah. What do you think? Jason, Freddy. Well, come on. No, nah, Fre- Freddy is possible. 
you again, you have to not be scared of the nigga. But I thought you just can't go to sleep. Or you can't go to sleep. <laughs> nigga, it's, you want to dove off, though. I stayed up for 24 hours before. All right, but in that case, 24 hours won't be the... It'll, it'll be a little more challenging for 24 hours. All you got to do is not go to sleep for 24 hours. Yeah. So, obviously, if it's if it's, if it's it's Freddy, the challenge would be different. Yeah. But, so, does Freddy only come at you when you're sleeping? Yeah. Unless oh, you like, bring him out the, to the real world, which is, I don't really know the technicalities of how people brought him out to the real world. Yeah, but yeah. If you, if you up, or if you dozing off, though, he got you. Oh, really? Yeah, if you dozing... Got you. He got you. Yeah. Damn. But like, I feel like if I just do activities and just drive around, I'll be cool. Yeah, but that's the point. It's, it's like that's twenty four hours. That's easy. Yeah, it's you easy. gotta stay up. Yeah, that's a. That's not right. gonna be the stipulation if it's Freddy. Jason, I, I, I can't. I can't be like. <laughs> Kill my. <You> go. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Michael Myers. I can't be like. Yeah, I'm watching the door. You watching the window? Nah, you gonna kill my. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> How about um. How about uh, Leatherface? Nah, I didn't come in here with a chainsaw, no. bro. You gonna break that shit down? Yeah, no, nah, I can't do that. Um, damn, that's ass. I think Chucky and Scream is the only people I could possibly beat. Damn, I'm trying, I'm trying to think who can who who can I beat? Um, the Scream is nothing but a human. He's just a, he's just a regular serial killer. That's what I'm saying. He's nothing but a, a, a serial killer with a mask. So he is. Yeah, I'll fuck Ted Bundy up. <laughs> You've been saying that forever, bro. I really would. If Ted Bundy <laughs> could not kill me, if I was, if I was, well, he only killed women anyway because he was a pussy. Could Jeffrey Dahmer kill you? Hell, like, I would have fucked Jeffrey up. Jeffrey only could kill people because because he's he drugging them. I don't do drugs. <laughs> I don't drink. <laughs> what if he force fed you that shit? Man, I'd have been like, why? What you feeding me for, Jeffrey? <laughs> what are you talking about? And I don't, and, and I'll never let a white man feed me. <laughs> Think it's good, yo. You, you had to get that one off. Yeah, I never let a white man feed me. Hey, real shit, bro. <laughs> yo, you need help. If he was black, he might have got me. If he was black, he would have got you. <laughs> yeah, the he nigga strength. Cause I'd been like, damn, yo, you making rasta pasta? <laughs> like, get some of that shit, boy. Yo. I'm making coleslaw. Nah, I'm good, bro. That coat, nah. He asked you for the um. He, get, he get, make it banana bread. I'm making. I'm making. I'm making a mayonnaise sandwich. I'm good, bro. Damn, man, these sandwiches are the bust though. Nah, I used to eat cheese sandwiches. No, you used to eat cheese sandwiches. Just straight cheese. Like cheese. you, you was happy when you didn't have uh, money in school, cheese, bro. Cheese and bread, bro. That shit nasty, bro. I'm talking about used to at home. You talking about school? Nah, that's crazy. You literally just walk around. Nah, don't do that. At home, I was a little snack, cheese and bread, bro. You just, just, uh, just put butter and bread, bro. Cheese and bread, bro. Nah, bro. cheese, cold cheese and bread. Nah, bro. Nah. Don't, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. Let me, let me go to the next time before Corey starts saying some mook shit, bro. I just need a rough neck. <laughs> Yo, I was I wanted to talk about this a while ago on the pop, but I was a little too scared to because this shit creeps me out. So, I remember you was talking about Urban Legends last podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have this is a, I don't know if this is a this I don't think this counts as an Urban Legend anymore because this shit's too scary. So this is like one of the scariest like I guess legends in the country, uh-huh. and it's in New Jersey. You ever heard of like what uh, Devil's Tree? The New Jer- New Jersey Devil? No, not New oh. Jersey Devil. Like Devil's Tree in New Jersey. No. Nah. So there's a tree in Bernard's Township. I think that's like. I never heard of it. Cool. I'll never go over there. That's like I think it's like South Jersey. Cool. Either South Jersey or like to the west. Cool. I'll never go over there. Never. Bro. Nice, bro. They never... said this tree is so is cursed. Like it's like like cursed by like the devil or some shit like that. They said if you touch it, you die. Like you're gonna die. You said what town is it in again? Bernard's Township. Yeah, we're never going over never there. Never going over. Don't even ask me. Like, I was even afraid to talk about this shit because I thought you couldn't even talk about it. So, basically, there's a tree in, on a on a bed of land, and it's, like, so haunted and cursed that, like, nobody, if you touch, people say if you touch it, you die. If you, if you like, disrespect it, like, like put graffiti on it or do mm-hmm. something vandalized, you you get cursed. And it's, like, so the whole, there's a bunch of stories that go about it, but I guess, like, the main two is, like, there was a farmer that killed his whole family that used to live on that land, killed his whole family. And He's then, why was he? Of course he was white. Mm-hmm. And then he hung himself on that tree, killed himself. And then there was supposedly like a, a secret like cult, like an evil cult that used to live on that land in the 1920s. Mm-hmm. They used to like kidnap people and hang them on that tree. So like they say like the bodies and the the souls of that tree, like the souls that were hung there, like protect the tree. And like when it snows, that tree never gets covered in snow. Or if it gets covered in snow, that shit like immediately like melts off and there's like a little patch like everything's covered in snow except that tree, and it's like people try to chop it down, people try to burn it, but like it just never, it will never go down. Like you see, like a, there's like a big chop mark and there's like burn marks on it, mm-hmm. and like people don't know what happened to those people that that tried to do it. They think they died or some shit happened to them, but 
I seen that shit, bro. I'm like, nah, if that shit's real, bro. I guess what we're not going to Bergenstein, New Jersey. Ber- Bernard Steen. Ber- Ber- Bernard Steen. If it if it starts with a B, we're not going over there in New Jersey. Bergenfield, not going no more. Oh, no more to Bergenfield, <laughs> just yeah. in case. Start, start with a B, I ain't going. I ain't there touching no more. trees. Mm-mm. Just imagine, bro. See, that's the that's that ghost shit you was talking that's about. What I'm saying movies. that shit can be real, and I don't want to watch it because it could be real. <sighs> but like, like, what would you even do in that scenario? Like for you, if you was in like a, that type of scary movie, like a Conjuring or some shit. Like, what is your first thing, <laughs> nigga? Get me, you got me, bro. Oh, I'm you're not just gonna fi- give I'm up. Not fighting, bro. You're no, just gonna give bro, up. No, you got me, bro. <laughs> like, what if you got, got your dad? You got me too, bro. What the fuck? You got you're me, just gonna bro. surrender? Yeah, bro. We gonna be in this together, bro. Nah, I told you. Bro. Remember, I told you last podcast, yo. I'll take. I'll fight the jaguar with you, so we both could die together. <laughs> we in this together, bro. I'm never called a priest. You got a church right next to you. No, bro. I'm not. I'm not. Exorcisms. Going, I'm not going through all that because that shit never worked. At the it end do of the, work. At the end of the movie, the niggas always still haunt it, bro. No, it's not. That's it goes why it's away. A, that's why it's a conjuring two, one, two, three, four. Five. No, it, it it moves on to new niggas. That guess what? That nigga is is done for life, bro. He no. never comes out on top, bro. And guess what? But I'm you know right. those shits actually did happen, though, right? That's why I'm not watching them shits, bro. <laughs> Go. It's not that bad, like. Like, nah, at the end of the last Conjuring, it was I think it was like Conjuring Four. They had the, it was at the end they played like the um the real shit. The no, they played like the recordings of the the exorcism, and you could hear the like, real ones. Yeah, Come that shit was on, crazy. Man. But like the last, so the so I the, think Paranormal Paranormal Activity was based on a true story, right? The four, the first one. But I don't even know. Is that even scary for real? That just looks like the a, first one was scary to me. I don't, I don't know what you talking. About. I don't. I don't remember watching that. I remember so. watching the first one. The first one was scary to me. Was scary maybe, I'm, maybe I'm a just bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Like it was just like isn't it just like a ghost in the crib? I don't know. Or a demon? Because you know every time I think of paranormal activity, I think of haunted house with Wayne's Bros. Yeah. So like they, it was, so, a, it was just about the same, the like, <laughs> comedic version. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like it just like I can't like I can't look at it like as scary anymore. No, it was that first one was scary. But like the Evil Dead movie, the one that we just watched. So it's basically about a book, right? <laughs> so a book. so it's that's about what, a book. That's what I don't read. <laughs> and it's like in the book, it talks about like death. Like that's what the book is made out of like bones, made out of skin, and like each page is like is like possessed. So if you read the book, the demon will come and like possess somebody and it will try to like kill you or kill everything it like comes through. And that's what happened. Like it possessed the mother and shit like that, and she was trying to kill everybody. And I'm supposed to try to survive that. Now that I don't think I can. I'm gonna say I'm gonna just I'm gonna just call it quest. You got that me, one, bro. that one I don't think I can. Evil Dead, that shit was crazy. Like that like, you really couldn't stop that shit, bro, unless you like literally like like put him in like a like a wood chipper or some shit. Like there's no way like you could. Like they, I'm supposed to fight that, bro. Like, like the bitch would get they put they'll put the bitch on fire. They'll shoot him. Nigga still coming back. And I'm supposed to fight, and I'm supposed to, me right now. I'm supposed to fight that. You got me, bro. I'm just gonna, come come on, come on, <laughs> come, come on. on. Yo, you sick, bro. Come on. Oh, bro. I'm gonna say it right here like this, like this. <laughs> you got me, bro. Nah, I'm not fighting, bro. You need help, bro. And I, if I gotta join your little army, guess what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sell my soul, bro. You gonna sell your soul? <laughs> and they be like, yo, oh, you, you, you don't want to die? Join me, bet. Nah, bro. <laughs> bet. I'm fighting for my life, bro. Who I gotta kill, bro? I'm going out swinging, bro. Who I gotta kill, bro? Nah, you got me, bro. Like Jeepers Creepers, got me. What was bro. Jeepers Creepers about? Remember the the Jeepers Creepers? You don't know, you remember, remember Jeepers Creepers? I know what it is, but I just I never watched it though. The nigga, he was like a, a, a demonic monster figure that can fly and shit. That's not the boo hag. Nah, that's not the that's not the Baba dude. The Baba dude, you talking about? Yeah, nah. Jeepers Creepers is the monster dude. He come he comes back every oh, yeah. every twenty something years. You yeah. know Jeepers Creepers, right? Yeah. yeah. Every twenty seven years, the, the feed. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And he eats and he eats people for their body parts. Yeah, yeah. I remember that because like his shit is like uh-huh. going down. And he yeah. smell he smell you and to see what what he what he like about you. Okay, okay. All right, let me let me let me reword that other question that we did, right? Uh-huh. So now we're gonna do it again. Okay. Same question, right? Yeah. So now, like I said before, there's murderers coming after you. You have to you have to survive 24 hours, and you get five million dollars. I got a new set of people. Okay, I'm, you told Jeepers Creepers in there. I don't think I, I don't think I could I could run away from for 24 hours. Let me think. I put I put Jeepers Creepers in it. I'm I'm not gonna jeep 24 hours. Oh, Jeepers no, Creepers. Bro. Leatherface, and you ever watch Strangers? Strangers, nah, I heard of it though. You know what it's about though, right? Nah, tell me real fast. So the Strangers is about like, um, it's like a group of people like out. Say, say there's like a group of people outside our crib trying to kill us right now. Yeah. There's like five of them. 
like that. Uh, so I gotta survive that. Survive like five niggas trying to kill you. So so Jeep. So you guys either Jeepers Creepers, uh, uh, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh-huh. or the people from Strangers. Which one would you try to survive? I think I'll try Leatherface. You try Leatherface with the Jeepers Creepers. I don't think I'm a, if he if he's out to get me. You. I don't think I'm doing. I don't think I'm getting twenty four hours. Really. Yeah, nah. Jeepers Creepers. He hunted down. He hunted, he hunted down, bro, and got him and got him less than twenty four hours, in the first movie. So if I keep like, and he flies, you he said he flies, bro, and he flies fast, and he gets you fast too. He like a apex predator for real, and he don't die, bro. Like, he doesn't die. He doesn't die. Like he, he like he'll like he'll if he if he fucked up, he'll like he's gonna survive until he eats somebody and get their body parts. That, and then he's, that he's gonna missing. keep. Yeah, he don't die, bro, and then he keeps coming after <sighs> you, bro. All right. So Jeepers Creepers, I don't think I, don't think I, I think I could Jeepers. try. I could try the Not people. Hours. I could try the people from Strangers. The only bad part is they're normal people, but they're just like like they're all like socio psychopaths. But my thing is how much how much how much how much if they outside my crib for twenty four hours, what I'm gonna do? That's why I feel like I'm they're gonna, gonna get me. I feel like I'm just gonna be on the move. For 24 hours, then yeah, if that's the case, if I could just be on the move for 24 hours, but like what they follow me type shit, like in a car, like yeah, multiple I'm cars, because there's at least like three or four of them. I better, have, I better have enough gas. You can't even stop for gas. That's what I'm now. saying. That's not 24 hours. You're gonna run through that shit. But you said, you said you go and take Leatherface. Ooh, low key. So I'm saying, I I'm can, a, I might take him. I'm, I, I think all you gotta do is just not be where he's at, and just you can outrun him. That's what I'm saying. You, he's slow and he runs with a chainsaw, but if you can't outrun him, bro, you deserve to die. Ooh, sorry, I t- sorry, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can. I think I can survive Leatherface. As I'm saying, all I, all I gotta do is not be where he's at. Mm. And if I see him, dip. So like, would you stay in this room? Like, do would you? No, do, no, no. You wouldn't stay in this room because guess what? He could, if he, he busts that door, what it's over. Do? So and, what is, and he's coming through the door with a chainsaw. I'm gonna throw this mic at him. <laughs> <laughs> so so, what's your plan? What would your plan be? My plan it would be. So first, I got, first I gotta spot him because there's no sneaking up on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me spot him and just I gotta just keep running. Just keep running. Or I gotta go where he's not. You feel me? But wherever I go, I gotta be in an open, open enough place and, area that if I see him, I could dip, but not close enough. If I see him, it's D. Yeah, yeah. So like I can't be in a room because if he busted that door, it's D for me. So would you go about your normal day? No. You wouldn't, because I'm thinking like I would think like, what if I hop in the car? He's in the back seat. That's that's my biggest. That's thing. the thing though. I got. That's I got to see him. So as soon as you see him first, feel me. So if, guess what? If he's in my back seat, guess what? We're gonna be playing couch to mouse every all day. I'm not <laughs> getting into that car until I see you. Oh. All right, now I see you. I'm out. <laughs> Find me. Would bitch. you ask for help? Nah, I feel like that's what I feel like. I feel like that's when niggas go wrong. So you just gotta try to do it on your own. Yeah. Dang, or if I yeah. ask for help, I'm gonna get other niggas killed, which is sacrificial lamb. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Cause see, I, I think I think I'm gonna do that one then. But like, what if, like, okay, so say it starts right now, bro. Say we start right now, eleven oh five. We gotta go survive till next next eleven oh five. That's a long ass time. That's what I'm saying that's a whole day, bro. But I feel like you can't even sleep with that nigga. You can't. I mean, with either one, you can't even sleep for real. You can't sleep with another. Well, nah, you can't sleep with Jeepers either. He's gonna come in your crib. And yeah. You. Is he strong, Jeepers Creepers? Hell yeah! Strong, like he can like break through like the window and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck yeah, nah. I think we're gonna. I think we're just gonna take. I'm you gonna take Leatherface. You try to lift a whole school bus with people on it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I think I'm gonna take Leatherface, bro. So I'm saying, and he really just a big nigga. Like, feel me? Just a big mental autistic nigga for real. <laughs> that's all he really is The big autistic nigga I feel like if, I, if he come close to me To change so I just gotta go In daddy mode Yo come on baby You don't even gotta do all that bro on, <laughs> Wait you gonna Riz him up I got to bro I got to riz him up bro what yo, I know Yo daddy I, Yo bro Yo bro. chill <laughs> yo. No I'm not, I'm not Not me daddy Yo yo Your dad he, he did you wrong bro You didn't deserve that Oh you gonna try To sympathize with that nigga Got to bro Hey Yo ooh, he, did you, he did you wrong bro I understand My dad abused me too <laughs> he didn't, my dad didn't abuse me, but my dad abused me too, bro. You see this? You see this marks right here? My dad did that to me. I understand, Leatherface. I understand. What's your real name? Tom. I understand, Tom. <laughs> Yo, you need help, bro. Yo. You still kill me? You a piece of shit. <laughs> you a piece of you shit. A piece of, I'm, I'm gonna say as you. Try, you a piece of shit. I try to help you. You kill me. <laughs> yeah. I always say if I ever if I ever get killed, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'm going out swinging. Bro. I'm going out talking about shit. <laughs> like you you shot me, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> that's all. That's all you gotta do, bro. That's, nah, that's really how I. Go. I think for what I'm gonna do with him, right? Say it starts right now. I think I gotta be on the move. Like I gotta drive somewhere. So if it starts right now, we gotta leave this room. Gotta leave this room. You feel we gotta me? drive somewhere. But like, where the fuck are we gonna go? I don't know. Like that's hard. Like we like right. If we do it right now, we ain't got no weapons. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. I mean, I know we're gonna go to your crib. I don't got weapons. <laughs> we're gonna go to your crib. I got a crossbow. I'm going to Tyrone's crib. <laughs> but it's like, di- all right. I'm even stopping him to get gas. He might just be there. But that's what I'm saying. That's what we got. We have to spot him. <sighs> mm-hmm. So spot him first. Yeah. But what if he doesn't come? Like, what if it takes him a minute to for him a minute to like? Like, what if he's like really sneaking up? That's why I said we got to be in an open area where he where. where it's open enough where you can't sneak up on me, but you can't corner me either. Low key, I might. You know what I might do? I might go to a heavy populated area. Nah, because at least there, I could I could get lost in the crowd though. You could get lost in the crowd, but so can he. And he's trying to kill you, but he don't care who's around him. But the cops might stop him. He don't care who's around him, bro. His goal is to kill you. So he's just gonna find a way. That's what I'm saying. He don't care about going to jail. That can slow him down a little bit though. Like say, I'm, yeah, but guess what? Let's say, let's say you don't know where he's at, right? Oh, uh, he gets you. It's not like it's not like the group of people who stop him from stabbing you or tearing you up. Yeah, you feel me? Damn. And his his sole goal is to kill you. So guess what? I got my. I don't gotta kill nobody else. I killed the nigga I want. Now you can get me. Bro. That's ass, bro. All right. And he killed cops too. But I'm definitely picking Leatherface though. That, nah, that's the. That's, I think that's, that that's the, the right choice. Because the strangers, I don't know, bro. Five people coming after me. That, that's. That's a lot. I said I could beat up. I could beat up one Ted Bundy. Now five. Yeah, five different Ted Bundys, bro. Oh no. You know, you know, I heard, um, like, Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> you know, I heard the the Texas Chainsaw shit was like based off of based the real person. Yeah, based off. Uh, Do you remember who it was about? Is it? Is it Eddie? No, nah, it's not. It's not. It's uh, John J- Gaines. John, John. Let me uh, look it up. Edward Gaines. Edward Edward Gaines and John John Wayne Gacy. Uh, Gaines. I think it's Edward Gaines, right? Uh, Ed Gain. Ed Gain. Ed Gain. Okay, yeah. So do you know you want to explain? You know the story about it? Or do you I know to... he was a serial killer that just did the same shit. He, he, uh, after he killed people, like he cut their skins off and like wore their face for masks. Yeah. Put the wore their uh, turned their like skin into like purses and shit. Yeah. Like, that. like, but what he used, but what the thing was, I they they know. I think he killed two people. Like like uh, what's that? What's that? Um, what's the word called? He killed two people. Like. Officially, yeah, but like they think it's upwards of like 10. But like what he used to do was like he was a sicko, like he was like a quiet dude, uh-huh. and like I guess people knew him like as like a weird, the weird guy of town. Yeah. But he was he was a grave digger, uh-huh. so he used to go or grip, didn't dig up dead bodies, dig up dead bodies, uh-huh. and he would take those bones and the skin and he would yeah, make like shit that. like the furniture in his house. I did hear that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. some sick shit, bro. I did know that, yeah, that's some sick ass shit, bro. Like imagine, like what type of weird? Sh- that's that's what I'm saying. People like that be living in plain sight, bro. You won't even know. You won't even know. You won't even know. Niggas, like, like think about it. A new, a new freaking serial killer like that could come out, come out in like the next five, ten years. And he'd be your neighbor. For be real. your neighbor, bro. Be like, yo, I didn't even know little rookie was killing all these niggas. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like that's where all these little girls been going. Like what the fuck, like. That's what I'm saying. Think about it, bro. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer, the nigga lived, nigga lived in an apartment, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Lived next door to niggas, bro. Nigga, the shit was so bad they had to tear down the whole housing project, bro. They was like, nah, bro, we can't keep these housing projects up, bro. Cause niggas gonna be scared, bro. Like that's really no sick. one's gonna live here, bro. <laughs> like what? Like like think about it. Think about it like this, bro. The next the the when did Jeffrey Dahmer come out? That was like the nineties. Yeah. Think about it. So that was what twenty years ago. There's somebody that's like equivalent to that right now that we don't know that about. we don't even know about yet, but it's gonna come out in like next five ten years. Uh huh. That's fucking sick, bro. Unless you want to count like, cause I know. I think Netflix is doing like a documentary, like or a, a type of series where they do different like serial killers now. Oh, uh, they, they they are. I think what do you know what the next one is? No. I think it's like a. I think it's like two dudes. I forgot. I know they did the they did the Manson family, right? Or oh, maybe, they did. I think so. Like the 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 cult shit. Yeah. I don't remember that one. All I, I remember. Know. I think they they started off with Ted Bundy. We might not be watching the same shit then. Because <laughs> they started off with Ted Bundy. Uh huh. The movie, and then they start, then they, oh no, the TV show. Yeah. And then they Oh, did, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You yeah. know what I'm talking they, about, right? They, 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 they didn't do the Manson family. I think they call it like 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 a monster series or some shit like that. That's what they're they calling it. They did Jeffrey Dahmer. They did uh the clown nigga. Yeah. Um, they did Ted Bundy. What do you think this next one's going to be? 
Uh, probably Manson. Uh, you know, man. you know what Manson did though. Like his shit was just like a cult. Bro. I know, but like he started. Uh, they didn't kill somebody though, right? He had niggas kill people. Oh, so that's sick too, bro. Like he had, like he convinced niggas to kill he people. He didn't die. He died just recently too. He didn't die. He died long. in prison. I was like, he didn't die too long ago though. Mm-mm. I think it was like maybe like five, a couple years ago. But that's what I'm saying, bro. Shit like that, niggas could be just around, bro. We never know about it. Watch our backs, people. We might shit. It might shit, be might, one of us, I'm bro. Say, I'm gonna say it might be me. If you, don't, if you don't like, share, comment, subscribe to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you sick, bro. But I got another question, right? So can we survive these video games part two? Part two. I think it's like part two or three, whatever. You did, part, you did a part one, one already? Yeah, I did before. I think it was talking about GTA. But now we got I got a new set of video games. Yep. So could you, can we survive these video games? The first one's Red Dead Redemption, which is basically being in the being in the olden times, like cowboys and shit like that. So a question. Yeah. Are we talking about us? Like me, us right now, like same skin color? Yeah, brother. Damn, we black, bro. I don't know, but we light skinned. We might look like an enigma to them. We might, but I don't know. <laughs> we might look like a cause they had a, they roll with a couple black people. I know. I think if, if if race wasn't involved, I could do it. You think so? Yeah. You, you just gotta you just gotta work about outlaws and gangs just trying yeah, to Yeah, I think I could you. do it. I think I could do it. I think I could do it too. I would I'll just be to myself. Yeah. Well That's I would I'll, I'll be that nigga. I'll be you're John, gonna you I'll, I'll be John Marston. You're gonna be robbing niggas? Yeah. That's that's you gonna die first. Between no, us, you gonna die first. I'm gonna, be, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be the last one standing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rob like the the town that's like in the cut. Nah, bro. like you never you ever watch the banks. You ever watch SpongeBob? When, robbing the trains. Y- y- just you. No, I'm gonna you're have just, a gang, bro. You gonna so you're gonna create a gang? Yeah, and you are gonna be a part of my gang. Can we both be like co leaders? Yeah, All we, right, we, bet. I don't gotta be. I don't gotta be. I don't gotta be. Uh, what's his name? Kim Jong Un. <laughs> it could be a democracy. I bet. bet That's bet. what we're gonna be the. We're gonna be the the, the ragtag hooting tooting. The, yeah, the, <laughs> I like that. The ragtag hooting tooting red masked bandits. <laughs> <laughs> like bandits. Yeah, the, <laughs> them bandits right there, man. What are you talking about, bro? All right, all right. Hot two, nigga. <laughs> Hot tooting, bro. All right, next one's Assassin's Creed. Mm. Wait, time out. So, like, am I the person they're trying to kill? <laughs> Am I the person he's after? Is he, yeah. Is, is he going back in time and killing me? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm not surviving that shit, bro. No, but what if you're like, uh, say you're the say you're the assassin. Uh huh. So you're like you're the main main can character. I, can I go back and do that shit? Well, what? I'll be trained, so yeah. Oh, you could do it. Yeah, but I'm trained. Hell yeah. Oh, that's tough. I think I could do that too, honestly. But like, you got you think you completely. Like, what you do, bro? Oh my bad. <laughs> I think I'm freaking. I fucking lift my leg up. That shit just tweet. But I don't get how that went off though. Because I think that my phone, it's like, it connects to my laptop. Uh-huh. So, like, when this shit moved, I guess it, like, thought, like, to connect the shit together. Uh-huh. I don't know. It's fucking weird. But anyways. So, yeah. You're the assassin from Assassin's Creed. I think I could do it. You think you could do it? Okay. Okay. The next one is Ark. Your favorite game. Hell yeah. I'm surviving Ark, bro. I am an Ark expertise, bro. So you're going to be able to hunt down dinosaurs? Yes, yes. You're going to be able to build your own society? You better, be in my, you better be in my tribe or it's up. Really? It's up. You better be in my tribe. All right, all right. I'll be with you. As long as you keep me alive, bro. Bro, we're going to be taming dinosaurs, bro. I'm going to get us each a giga each, bro. We're going to have pocket gigas, bro. Pocket Cryo, gigas? Cryopods. Ocean, metal ocean platforms, bro. We're going to have Dunkleosaurus. We're going to have Theosauruses, bro. We're going to have everything, bro. The fuck is a Dunkleosaurus? We're going to have a Mantas, bro. We're going to have Rexes. We're going to have Quetzals. We're going to have Pterodactyls, bro. We're going to have Griffins. We're going to have, uh, what's that other shit was called? Arg- Arg- Argies. We're going to have Argentavises, bro. We, bro, we lit, bro. All right. As long as you, hey, you got it, bro. Bro, we're going to win. We're going to we gonna be lit, bro. We're going to have tribes. We're going to have bases all over the place. We're going to have underwater bases, bro. We're going to have, bro, we're going to be lit, bro. You got me, bro? I, I got us, bro. I'm fine. <laughs> whoever whoever want to join my tribe, be lit. And if you want to play ARC with me, bro, my gamer tag is notorious underscore KRP, bro. Hit me up. I'll play ARC with you, bro. I'll, I'll, I'm the leader, though. You can't be the leader. <laughs> I'm, I'm the leader of the tribe, bro, and we're gonna be lit, bro. We could make, we could build a whole. You feel me? Utopia. Yeah, bro. All right, all right. Lit, I believe in you. All right. The next one's the Last of Us. Me and oh, you, bro. Are we surviving that? Man, man. I always, I keep, I always say if, it, if, it, if it really comes down to it, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna give up. <laughs> we can't give up, bro. I don't, what type of, what type of <laughs> attitude is that? But if it's me and my man Darius, we can survive, bro. All right, real shit. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna make it all the way to the end. Yeah, we are gonna make it, bro. 
We, we Did you finish that game? Gon make. I finished both. Games. All right. We gon make it. We gon make it. Mm. We gon make yes, it. Yes, uh-huh. Gang. He said, Jay to moi. I kiss you, bitch ass. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Yo, you good? <laughs> and then the last one is Fallout. You played Fallout before? No. So it's basically, you gotta survive a, a nuclear Fallout, and there's like nuclear mutants and shit like that. Just try to survive. I, it's like, so instead of zombies, it's nuclear. It's uh, it's like mutants, like mutated from like from like a atomic bomb and shit. Damn. So know. nuclear wasteland. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know. About that, that shit. Them niggas can have powers, my nigga. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I'll do the Last of Us, but I, I ain't. Doing, you ain't with all that. I ain't doing Fallout. Yeah, I get so you. I, get I'm, you. I'm a, I, I gotta give up on one. I can't be ten tones down on both. Type shit. Type shit. That'd be up. crazy. Imagine animals I'm, like mutated like that, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna give. Up, I'm gonna give up on Fall guys. I just want to let y'all know this nigga has polar bear sheets. You said that last pod. No, oh no, Tyrone said that. Pod, but I just had to point out again. This nigga don't have a Coca Cola in here. Fuck Coke, nigga. But, Pepsi gang. <laughs> but like, you know, there was a, I think there was a movie or a book written about like a guy who, uh, so it was a, I, it was kind of cool. I thought it was a real thing, but I think it was a book. So <coughs> there was a guy, it was a scientist and he called for help to America or whatever, because I guess some shit went wrong. So we went over there. They didn't know what he was doing on the island. Uh-huh. So he went on the island and there was basically different like mutated animals, like animal human hybrids on that motherfucker. <laughs> And, like, the whole time, they're thinking, like, yo, they're in a new world. But the real thing that what he was doing, he was conducting experiments, like, mixing humans and, like, animals. So, nigga made, like, werewolves and, like, cat people. And, like, cool. that's what I'm saying. It was, like, he was, like, actual mutant people on the shit. cool, actually. And, like, they had to, like, survive that shit. They was, like, bugging the fuck but out. That's what I'm, like I said, bro, if, ever, if I see a fucking werewolf come through this door. I'm not picking up this mic and throwing out. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't looking for something. I'm gonna be like this. You just giving in? Come on. Oh come <laughs> on. <laughs> but I was thinking about that because yo, I seen some shit on the Joe Rogan podcast. They uh-huh. said they 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 were able to combine like AI technology and animals into like robo animal hybrids. Yo, we better stop with this AI shit, bro. And you know what they was talking about? What they did, bro? So they were able to put uh, the fucking pigeons. I wait, knew it. I, I knew it, bro. bro. That's what I'm saying, Core. I they told you. Up. So, uh, so it was a lady came on the podcast. She was saying like they were able to put chips into rats, and they were able to control them like controllers. Uh-huh. And you know what else they did? They did pigeons, bro. I, what I've been telling y'all niggas since <laughs> my first episode, bro. Pigeons are not real, bro. Maybe not all pigeons. Do not know. All pigeons are not <laughs> real, bro. Other day I was walking at my job, bro. I seen a pigeon get hit by a car, bro. How the fuck does a pigeon get hit by a car, bro? They fly, bro. That don't make no sense. And then I seen another pigeon with his head cut off, right? Yeah. Where was the blood? Mm. It was not bleeding, bro. <laughs> the pigeon was not bleeding, bro. Every day, the pigeons, they gather up at my job, and they have a staff meeting every day because they know I'm walking the dogs around that time, bro. They hey. after me. Pigeons are not real, bro. It's, cr- it's still I'm still standing on what I said. If you see it, get a gun and shoot it, bro. They're dangerous, bro. That's crazy, bro. Like, it's imagine. It's not real, bro. Niggas, you still haven't seen a baby pigeon. Don't send me no shits, and you ain't see one, and they not real, bro. The government's trying to trick y'all, and y'all got to stay woke because if y'all go to sleep, y'all never going to wake up. Bro, shit from Corey. Feel me? You heard what I said, nigga? That's not scary, though. Like, uh, they, they put chips in the rats. You know, why it's, you know why it's not scary? I'm, I'm prepared, bro. Oh, so you've been prepared for that's it. That's what I'm saying. I already know this, bro. That's why the, that's why pigeons be, be on my windshield, bro. But you know what else they, they did? They know I'm talking about them. You know what else they did? What else? They put it, So they did it with moths, too. So Moths? What, but what they did with the moths, though, right? Can't they put them. The they bugs put, no more, They bro. put a chip in the larvae. So when they grow up to be moths, they uh-huh. already got it built in. See, that's that bull. That's what they do with the pigeons, bro. Bro, they literally. They, come on, bro. bro they literally Start could control spitting, them. Bro. They could control them, like f- make them fly anywhere they want. Yeah, good, bro. And I'm you know how long you. ago it was they did this? Two years ago. Four years ago. I've been telling y'all niggas this is my first day on the pod. I've been telling y'all niggas this. Y'all niggas don't want to listen to me, bro. Damn, bro. You ain't never lied. So they might have been robots. Some of them. That's what. The, uh, that's what I'm saying, bro. Maybe a couple of them might have been a little bit robots. Nigga, all of them. Yeah, I told you they be charging, bro. They charging? Yes, bro. Yo, y'all niggas didn't listen to me when nah, I was you saying woke it. Right now, I'm now saying bro. It, bro. Keep spitting, I, bro. I, I was telling y'all niggas this is my first day on the pod. I told you don't trust these pigeons. That was Corey's bro. first clip, bro. And now, and and now, and now we can't trust the rats, the cats, the mice, the dogs, the hogs. We can't touch nothing, bro. Low key, but that's scary. You know what they can I can even do? trust you? 
Can I trust nah, nah, you? You, 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 yeah, you good, bro. You sure? Yeah, gang. I wouldn't lie to you, bro. I don't know, man. <laughs> I've been telling these niggas since they were, since since niggas was even niggas. Since niggas wasn't even niggas. Yeah, I was telling. That's was, a bar, bro. I was telling. That's a bar. <laughs> I, was, I was telling niggas to stay woke before they went to sleep, and now they sleep and can't wake up. Mm. Keep going, keep going. You feel me? <laughs> feel me? Now niggas can't wake up. Now they now, now they in the sunken place, and niggas niggas wish they would have listened to a nigga like me. Mm. Real shit, bro. You know what Kanye said, bro? What's the what he said? Kanye said, "If you watch, if you watch me running down this highway, like the different direction, uh-huh. with a tank top and short shorts, sweating a lot, you think I'm a weirdo." Uh huh. But if a, a group of people doing the same thing as me run the same way, you call it a marathon. Ooh, real ooh, shit, ooh, bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you didn't follow me when I was naked. Now I got clothes on. <laughs> now I got fur on. You know what I mean? You didn't follow me when I was naked. Now, now, now I went to the jungle, killed a chinchilla. Now I got a whole fur coat on. You got right a now. mink on right now. I got now? a mink on right now, bro. <laughs> niggas ain't listen to me back then. Now niggas won't listen to me now, bro. Nah, stay sleep. Cause I've been up. I ain't been sleep since the grand clientele, nigga. Now I'm up and I'm ready. <laughs> Fuck this niggas talking about. Bro. I told niggas don't trust these birds, bro. These birds is not it, bro. Why birds the only niggas that could talk? Explain that. Why can niggas talk, bro? Oh, why birds can really speak? <laughs> yeah, bro. Why they can speak, bro? Lucky cats can talk. No, they meow. No, these niggas are saying words. Polly got a fucking cracker, bro. <laughs> Who told you that, bro? How'd you learn that, bro? How you know Polly got a cracker? Yeah, bro. Yo. Yo. I've, been telling, I've been telling niggas since niggas was niggas, bro. Yo, <laughs> real shit, bro. Let me tell you some other shit that I heard, bro. Oh, yo, don't do it, bro. Don't bro, I got some more me. shit, bro. Don't do it to me, bro. Bro, they found out that there is a giant ocean in the underneath the Earth's crust. Oh, that's what the Megan shit everything is. I right? don't know what the they don't know what's in there. Like people say, like there's like alien like shit in there, but uh-huh. they don't know what it is. Like underneath, you know how we learn crust, mantle, core. Yeah, they said like there's a big ass ocean bigger than any of our or- oceans, like in the crust. So like. That shit don't make sense to me, bro. That's with the mermaids and the megadons and the, the squids. Everything. Imagine, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think I would I would be awkward, man. Just to see what's I gotta see what's under there, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, think about it. You know, you ever heard of like the, the hollow earth shit? What they be saying about hollow earth? You never heard I of it? was hollow in the, in the uh, And there's like another world inside of Earth? No. Nah, I mean I've heard of it, but I don't really know much about so it. So what they say is like they say the earth is hollow as in like uh-huh. there's us we're on we live on the outside yeah and the real like alien like advanced beings are in the middle like it looks like this so it looks like a like you know bullseye yeah it's like that like where are the ring on the outside in the middle that's where like the real world is and they say that's where like advanced civilizations live under like under our feet basically and people joke about it saying like it's not real but there's a i think there was a guy his name was like admiral bird or some shit mm-hmm. he flew across antarctica yeah and he was and I think he did an expedition where he said he found, like, beings there. Because yeah. we can't go to Antarctica because of the treaties we signed and their shit like that. But there's certain places you can't go in Antarctica. Yeah. Supposedly because there's the entrance to the hollow earth because they don't want us to know about it. Uh-huh. But, like, this whole thing with the ocean in the crust can actually maybe prove it a little bit. Because, like, imagine, right? There's a world underneath ours and there's an ocean down there. And that's what they found. That little ocean that's, like, I think they said it's, like... 600 feet below the shit whatever in the crust uh-huh. and it's like a it's three times the size of our oceans three times just imagine we didn't we just learned about this now that now they gotta change up everything we've been learning about like it's not it's maybe not it might it might not be crust mantle core it might be crust and some other shit under there but we will never know bro because i feel like they just hide that shit from us i'm telling niggas like that shit that shit's 500 miles under the crust and they said that shit's so hot they, they said the degrees of that shit's like 72 degrees that's a hot tub. I've been telling niggas when I was telling niggas. Now niggas don't want to listen. You, We up now, bro. We've been speaking for a minute, you know bro. I'm saying? I be, I be and think, once... You, I be thinking. You know what's crazy, too? What? Like, I be joking a lot. Yeah. I remember my first podcast, right? Niggas yeah. was watching the shit. It come up to me like, yo, you actually pretty smart. I'd be like, fuck that mean, bro. <laughs> 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 niggas coming crazy for like, me. Yeah, like, yo, you actually pretty smart. Like, when you like, you feel me? You're not, I'm like, what the fuck thought I was stupid? <laughs> No, I just you, know, you joke around a lot, blah blah blah. Like, feel me? I didn't even know you was really intelligent. You you intelligent for real. At least at least fifteen people came up to me and said that. Yo, you actually pretty intelligent. You pretty smart. What the fuck? You thought I was walking around stupid, nigga. <laughs> the fuck. That's why we know regulars, bro. That's what I'm saying real shit, but niggas don't know about the whole the real reason. You you know why I call it no regulars? Did I ever tell you why? No. Nah. Cause it's like 
regular people not allowed here, bro. No regulars. Oh yeah, I thought it was something deeper than that. Nah, I, I, that I, mean, I can make it deeper. Make it deeper. Yeah. <laughs> let me think. Let me think. Yeah. Cause it's like, oh, I got you. I got you. Uh, let me hear it. Cause yeah, I have that's what I would have worried with you. Damn, Jay. Jay dropped off yesterday. Jay had this for like a year. I was, I, I just watched it too. It's my like her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so no regulars, right? Uh-huh. I feel like every day people walk around the world. Trying to be regular, try uh-huh. to fit in, try to do the same thing. Uh-huh. But when you come on this podcast, leave that regular shit over there, bro. Uh-huh. This is where you be yourself. This is where you act weird. This is where you talk about different shit nobody ever talks about. No regulars is allowed. Oh, that's all. I'm, here, shit, I'm about to start crumping. <laughs> start crumping in here, bro. Real shit, bro. No regulars, bro. I like that, bro. No I regulars, like bro. For the world is for the regular people. You know, mm-hmm. when you go to a job, you're supposed to act a certain you're way. You're supposed to act. You, you answer the phone. You're supposed to put in your your, your, your voice. You yeah, you me? got. You know, people got that white nah over That's here, bro. Saying, we, this, bro. This is us, bro. We make this. We do this, this for what we the do, us, bro. bro. We do it for the love, not for the love of you, because we don't care about you. We care about us. I mean, Type we, do, shit. we do care about y'all. Just like and subscribe. Like and but, subscribe. But like, feel me? We don't do it for y'all, bro. We do it because we. Guess yeah. what? If you don't get another view. If you don't get another view from this day, guess what? We're still gonna do the podcast because we like this shit. Type of shit. Man. You feel me? We ain't, we ain't doing this shit because we wanna be we wanna be we wanna be like you. We ain't trying to fit your status quo. Like we make our own, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. We never we don't think outside the box, but we make a new one. That's what I'm. Ooh. <laughs> 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 we don't need your box, nigga. We got a we got a circle, nigga. <laughs> We got a circle, bro, and we keep that tight, bro. What you talking about, bro? You can't break our circle because guess what? It's a force field over it. Another on, on that force field, it's another force field that can't be can't be stopped. Unbroken, bro. It's unbroken, bro. It's it's un it's unseeable. You can't even see it. Damn, bro. Because if you if you look at it too close, then you get blind. Real shit, bro. Bars, bro. Like it's 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 it's, 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 it's somewhere it's somewhere inside you that that it gotta be in you, mm. and if it's not in you already, you can't find it. It's already it gotta be there already. You gotta be there. You bro. can't jump on the train. You can't jump on the train while it's already moving. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Funny talk about it. You can't jump on the train while it's already moving. Yeah. You gotta be on the train. You gotta be on the train before it started, nigga. Type shit, nigga. I was on the train before it was built. Type shit, bro. The conductor don't stop for niggas. That's what I'm saying. Mm, the conductor really it don't, don't stop. stop. You got to hop on the train before. You can't hop on the train while it's going, bro. That's what I'm bro. saying. Then you get smashed. Damn. Nah, bro. bro. I was on, I was on, right I was now. on. I was on the train before it took off. Damn, bro. You was there I before s- the, the conductor was there. Yeah, I slept overnight. Damn. You I, was on, a- I was on the homeless people. I had, my, I, had, <laughs> I, had, I, had I had my whole bench to myself <laughs> with a pillow <laughs> in, a, in a plastic bag. <laughs> I woke up and heard niggas say, showtime. And guess what? Now it's my time. Ah, damn, bro. Ooh. That was good. Snicks, snicks. Ooh, I just, I just, nigga smacked the fuck out of himself. And those I'm, at the, I'm, at the, I'm at the wipe myself. Wipe me down, bro. <laughs> nigga. nigga heating up right now, bro. These was there when we was dead, bro. Starving, huh? Real shit, bro. What's talking about? I got a question, right? You're fighting a person 1v1 to the death. Yeah. They have. They are using nothing but their bare hands. Uh-huh. But you get a gun. <laughs> but <laughs> the there's certain... Which handicap would you rather get? It's either you're blind and deaf, or oh, gotta be handicapped. Yeah, you gotta be handicapped. Okay, you're either blind or deaf, or you're a hundred years old and you can barely move. Which one are you choosing? Mm, blind and deaf. <laughs> Why you just go like this? <laughs> nah, listen to me, right? When you lose, when you lose a sight or a sense, your other sense, you're not gonna be able to. You're not daredevil. <laughs> you're not gonna, you you're blind and deaf. Those are the two main ones. You can't hear. Echolocation. But you can't hear. Blind and deaf. <laughs> Nigga said I, echolocation. I just, um, man. <laughs> I can smell. You can't smell him. You're not a dog. You might be able bang, to, bang. <laughs> You might be able to feel the vibrations. I can feel, bro. Hmm. But my, think, think about it, think about it. All right, close your ears and now nah, I'm dead. <laughs> no, nah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I got it, bro. Blind and deaf or being old. Guess what? Helen Keller did it. Helen Keller was blind and deaf and graduated from three colleges. Helen bro. Keller wasn't real. I don't give a fuck. And she brought the first Akita to America. You seen Bishop on the episode? Helen Keller she, wasn't real. She brought the first one to America, bro. Bro, Helen Keller literally was just created by the government to give people hope. I told you. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Told you about that government, right? They tell them niggas, if she can do it, anybody can do it. No, nigga, she didn't do it. <laughs> There's no you. way that motherfucker that, flew a plane. That, that, that government be doing that. The government be governmenting. They, they be governing. Government be governing. Mm-hmm. But guess what? In this situation, she was real. If she could do it, I can do it. Don't fuck with me. I'm blind and deaf and I got a gap. But if you're 100. And it goes right a tat a tat. But like, think about it. Imagine you as 100. Are you really moving that slow? Yeah. You just start to barely move. But like, I think about you when you're 100. Yeah, hey, I'm probably barely going to move. <laughs> look, look, I'm like this. Let me think. Oh, that would have been bad. Nah, if, even if I fucking shoot, that shit going to fly in my oh, hand. You might not, I was like, you might not even get the, the gun up. Yeah. <laughs> that shit could be like, boom. <laughs> that shit going to kill me. I'm going to hit myself in the back of the head. All right, I think I'm going to go blind and deaf too. But like, what if he gets your ass? What if you lose the gun? <laughs> you oh, drop that guess gun? what? If I'm 100, if he get my, ass, if I lose a gun, it's deep. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he run fast enough to kill me, <laughs> fuck it. Wait, what if you drop the gun? <laughs> if I drop it, then fuck it, bro. Like you got me. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Damn. But like, all right, you got 30 shots. How you doing? It? I got 30 shots, man. You got 30 clip. One. You just go willy nilly, yeah, bro. Rainbow, nah, bro. Damn, that's gonna be ass, bro. Hopefully, it's a hopefully it's a small ass room. See, there we go. You gotta trick him. (laughs) (laughs) You gotta hit him. You gotta fuck up the pattern. Uh huh. (laughs) Get him. Get him. You saw. <laughs> now, all right, bro. Now, what I'm doing. All right, all right. All right, I got another question for you. So you get a hundred million dollars to de- defeat World Breaker Hulk. Which superhero? You say I gotta do it by myself. No, no. Which superhero or villain would you choose to fight him? Thanos. <laughs> Thanos fucked him up. But World Breaker Hulk? No, Hulk I'm, though? Not, I'm not sure. It's Thanos. Uh, I don't know. World Breaker Hulk. That's the nigga that destroyed the world, bro. Uh, the, the Sun Superman, Super God. Super, ooh, God, God Superman. Superman. Yeah. Mm. Goku. All right, Super what? If, ooh, yeah. Low key, Goku. I might pick Goku. Super. Uh, whatever, whichever Super Saiyan that is the best one. I might pick Goku. Low key, if I want to go cheese, I pick For, One Punch Man. You know, One Punch Man. Uh huh. Uh, I, like, che- I, I do One Punch Man. I was gonna say Frieza. 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 Yeah. Um. Do you? Do, me, there, too. Me, too. Me, me too. Me too. Me too. could beat. You. I don't know. I just Maybe seen, I seen Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Go the movie or some yeah. shit like that. There's a movie of Pokemon, or Pokemon Detective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How about how about actual like Marvel DC? You think anybody could defeat that nigga? I think a, a version of Thor could beat him. I just don't know it. Maybe a th- I think a version of Thor could probably Soul do Surfer. It. You think Soul Surfer can do Ooh, it? Ooh, Silver Surfer. So I said Soul Surfer. Mm-hmm. Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer probably. Mm. Silver Surfer. I think Silver Surfer could do it. So I think my right, my final answer. So I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say like the OD like like super. I'm not gonna say like fucking, um, like One Punch Man and like God Superman whatever. I'm Homelander. just gonna say Homelander. You think Homelander could do it? <laughs> Go with Homelander. Omni Man. You think Omni Man could do it? Oh yeah, Omni Man. Omni Man could do it. Probably. All right. So what's your final guess? What's your final pick? Homelander. Homelander. I think I'm going to pick No Homelander is going to Fucking get washed I don't know I'm about to say You got to think about it Again buddy I think I'm going to go Who, who was the first thing I was, Goku OP though. I'm going to go Goku That's my guy Goku, Goku. Alright I think I'm going to go I'll go Silver Surfer it's Either but Silver Surfer If you have to go Marvel though Yeah I, I think whoever, a, a powerful version of Thor Is going to do it Okay Okay I'm gonna go with a powerful I don't know which Thor One of those ones One of one of those Thors I think I could do I think Thor can do it Okay Okay Damn that nigga my fucking, That nigga really destroyed the world Because of fucking His friends didn't want him Hulk I forgot Wasn't it Them niggas sent him off to the planet And then he came oh, back Oh yeah, like, he, he, yeah. he killed everybody uh-huh. And shit And killed back, came back Killed all them niggas Yeah Because like niggas They was fucking with his piece And they was uh-huh. like Nah fuck it bro Nigga, nigga killed people Because he had no for His friends no more bro all right, I got a... Thor angry. I mean, Thor, Hulk, Hank, Hulk angry. Hulk mad. Hulk smash. What other shit do I have? Oh, all right, so which one would you rather do for $50 million? I'll do it. And <laughs> and the catch is that they... Oh, well, and they give you all the supplies needed to survive. So the first one is that you have to travel across the Atlantic Ocean in a rowboat. Not doing it. Or you have to walk across the entire continent of Antarctica. Which one are you doing? 
Damn. What was the first one? Uh, cross the Atlantic Ocean in a rowboat. So basically, New York City to like Africa. Antarctica, bro. You're going to walk across. You know how big Antarctica That's the biggest continent. New York to Africa, bro, in a rowboat. You're not making it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're not making it, bro. But. Darius. How, how long did that take me? You're not going to People make have it. done that, though. Nobody's done that, that bro. Somebody has done that before. No one has done that, Somebody bro. has did it, put, got on a boat for across the Atlantic before. Nobody has walked not across the Antarctica. Not a rowboat. You said a rowboat. Yes, a rowboat. Like you're no rowing. One, no, one did, no one did that, bro. Bro, freaking, what's the what's the nigga Life of Pi? He did that shit. That's fake. But I could do it too. And he didn't. It's he, based off a true it, story. He made it from India to, Me- I think, the Gulf of Mexico or something. That's like far that. as fuck. That's, that's the same shit. That that's was, far as fuck. That wasn't, a, that wasn't a rowboat. What was that? That was a rowboat. It was a, it was a uh, emergency boat. That's just, I'm talking about row. I'm not talking, I didn't say canoe. I'm talking nah, about a robot. You're not making it, bro. Yes, you can. You're not making. You could it, make bro. it better, yo. Antar- you know how big Ant- Antarctica is—the size of the world, bro. You said New York to Africa, bro. <laughs> you can make it. You're it not making possible. that, bro. No, you're not, bro. bro. You literally walking across the world. You're literally walking across the world. Think you about it. You said. You said. You said. I'm walking across the country. No, Antarctica. Yeah. You know how b- Antarctica is the biggest continent in the world, bro. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What's no, the biggest not. continent? I don't know, but I bet you it's not Antarctica. I want you. I bet you five dollars. It's Antarctica, bro. Nigga, we did this. We put this on the trivia question. I think he was here. Antarctica is the largest Antarctica. continent. That's just literally just the bottom half of the world. Largest continent. It's Antarctica, bro. It's Asia, motherfucker. What? Antarctica is not the largest continent. No. It's search not, up. Search up not, how long. It's not even the. It's not even the. It's. That's a fucking lie. Did you write continent? Yes, I wrote continent. How is it's, that possible? It's 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 uh behind Europe, bro. Nah, that that's not. Wait, no. It's the second smallest, bro. Are you searching Antarctica? I looked. I just searched up largest continents in the world, bro. What is the largest continent? Asia. How is Asia? What the fuck? Antarctic is Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, How Europe, and Australia. Is Antarctica in miles. Antarctica is eleven thousand miles. You're walking up eleven thousand miles. Now look up how 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 many miles it is from New York to Africa. Is it from New York to York York to Africa? Africa. What the fuck? It's from like forty thousand miles or something. How many? Oh, how many miles? How many miles? Seven seventy five hundred miles. What? Seven thousand five hundred seventy six miles from New, you got, you New have York to, to Africa. You have to, and this is the this the, this is the farthest part of Africa. This is not like the tip of Africa. You have to factor in the, the water. Ocean. Okay. Nigga, people have done that before. No one has done that. Bro. Jairus. Has any <laughs> No one has done that, bro. Road from you road across Let's say North America to the Atlantic. Africa. Following the, a successful challenge, a solo rower is th- is thought to be the only person to have rowed from mainland Europe to North America. That's uh, not North that's not what you call it to Africa, bro. That's the same shit. That's maybe it took him a, a hundred and eleven days at sea. And you said one person, right? Yeah, one person. One person did it. He rode, yes, nigga rode. One person. Yes, he he rode across the Atlantic Ocean in two thousand seven. One person ever. Yes, nigga, I'm be two. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get the walking, bro. <laughs> you gonna get the walking? Oh, move over, car. I move, or you can move the the shit if you want to. I'm gonna get the walking, bro. You gonna get the nigga? Think about it. You're walking. It's Antarctica. There's there's snow, there's blizzards, it's cold. It's the ocean, bro. Okay, it's, it's the waves, ocean. Waves, there's creatures, there's all types of shit, bro. But I get the supplies. I'll be good if I if I turn over, I can like get back up. And you gonna lose all your supply. They can drop me off some new supply. I get. You, you didn't say that. You didn't say that. I'll be alright, bro. You, you I'll say, just I'll eat it. some soggy bread. You, bro, you're not gonna be able to get all that supply back, bro. Bro, the, the tide of the ocean. Bro, if you're in a blizzard, they gonna blow that shit away. I'm gonna have that shit on me. What you gonna have it on you? Yeah, nigga. What if you find a po- what? If there's a polar bear. Nigga, <laughs> help the bear. 
<laughs> nah, you, you dying to a polar bear. You know, you, me and you know. <laughs> that bitch gonna need it. <laughs> me and you know, bro. Polar bear. The polar bear got me. I lost, bro. Bro. I'm telling you. Now, what if a what if a what if a, 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 a you, what if a sperm whale decides to come out the water, jump over your boat, and splash it? I'm just gonna be like, roll a little faster. Nah, bro, you're dead. Let's see. Has anyone walked across Antarctica? The professional endurance athlete traveled 932 miles across the continent in 54 days. 54 days. 110 days. I'm taking Antarctica. <laughs> you still taking Antarctica? Nope. You're not that nigga, though. No, man, but his shit was only nine. Wait, without. By only two days. Is this Antarctica? This nigga only. Nah, he walked the part where, like, only people could go. I'm talking about the whole motherfucker. Hey, I'm going to do it, bro. You going to do it? All right. All right. Do it, bro. <laughs> I'm not getting in that water, bro. <laughs> All I'm right. terrified of the ocean. I don't even go to the beach. You think I'm a fucking row? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since you're talking about terrified now, you're locked in a small room for an hour with a light that turns on and off every five minutes. Uh-huh. Which one would you rather be stuck in there with? Five large spiders the size of cats or 200 normal-sized roaches? You, you, you ask this question because you know me. Yeah. Oh, move how, the mic over, Corey. How long I'm in there? For an hour. You can survive an hour. I'm picking the roaches, bro. You better survive an hour with them roaches, bro. You Man, the fuck up. You don't know my fear, bro. Bro, wait, hold on. Move the move the mic. Like you can like turn like this. Yeah, there you go. You don't know my fear, bro. Ah. You feel man the fuck up, nigga? It's, it's just a bunch of cockroaches. Just step on them. Ah, I'm a, I'm have to do the roaches. Okay, thank you. I have to. Okay. Cause you said cat sized spiders is crazy. That's a big ass spider. But God, damn, <laughs> this roach is gonna kill me. Two hundred roaches. How much? How how much you? Two hundred roaches could probably fill this this couch right here. I'm sitting on. Yo, you, I'm talking about the fat ones too. You don't know. I'm I'm not gonna survive, bro. I'm gonna come out and I'm never gonna move again. <laughs> <laughs> you that scared of roaches? Yes. Nigga, you from Brooklyn? So. The fuck. What that mean? I can't be scared of roaches. The fuck you don't know? Just step on them hoes. I don't even step on them, bro. I'm afraid if I step on them, the yeah. baby's gonna yeah, come get, bro. Man, that's a myth, bro. No, it's not. No, it's bro. not a myth. You're not supposed to step on them. You're supposed to like spray them with raid. But I'm still taking that's. I'm taking the roaches. Imagine the spider. It's, the, easy, it's the easiest. It's the easiest option. It's only for an hour. But like, think about it. when the light turn off. They move. <laughs> oh, my God. When the light turns off, you're not going to see it for five minutes either. They move when the light is off. So that shit going to scatter. That shit going to start crawling on you. Yo, oh. Feel, oh, my God. Oh, shit. I forgot. Oh, shit. If I feel it crawling on me, bro, it's I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, say, all right, so, like, the first five minutes, the light's on. When it's over, light's off five minutes. <laughs> Kill myself. <laughs> you just gotta, you just gotta stay in the corner, bro. Hopefully they don't oh see. Oh my, I'm gonna off myself, bro. <laughs> bro, it's it's okay, bro. You could do it. I believe in you, bro. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really off myself. We gonna do, we gonna do a no regular fear factor one day. No, we not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if y'all want no regular fear factor, put in the comments. Yo. And Corey gonna be in a in a box full of live roaches for a hundred million dollars. A hundred million. <laughs> now you gonna do it? Hold on, we, we can we can negotiate that. <laughs> uh, and oh I got, my god, that's gonna y'all, I'm not gonna. It's gonna be the day I, I I'm gonna kill myself. That day, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna like just be dead. Bro. Like what? Like what is so? So what's what do you need in order to do like to do something with cockroaches? What do you need? And what do you mean? Like money? Money? Anything? Money? Cars? Cribs? Females? I don't fucking know. Ice Spice. M- money, bro. I, I mean, Ice Spice might just suffice. <laughs> Ice Spice and $100 million? Yeah. I'm to like, step it, sit in a box of roaches. I might do it. Oh, wait. Did you ever see that pic, that uh, that uh, video of the guy in the manhole cover with the cockroaches running around him? No, but I, w- I would kill myself, like, bro. Like, you know what the man, you know manhole. Yeah. Like, he, he was in the sewer, and he was, like, cleaning it out, but, like, literally cockroaches, like, crawling all over his body. And they was like, how long would you be able to do that? I can't do it, bro. <sighs> nah, I can't do that one. I mean, obviously, the only the only enticing is money, bro. That will make me do it. <laughs> money? Yeah, bro. I will only do it for money, bro. All right, all right, all right. 
And the the last thing I got for you. So say. <coughs> God damn. <coughs> mm. I almost died. Chill. We <coughs> lost. We lost the host. Shit. That shit. I feel like something's about to come up. The road just came up. Pause. <coughs> so the government is sending you on a mission to the past to see if a modern human can take over the world. What are you bringing with you? So wait, repeat the question. The government is sending you back in time into the past to see if a modern human can take over the world. Uh-huh. What are you bringing with you? So I'm supposed to be the person to take over the world? Mm-hmm. And we're going, I'm talking like medieval times. You're bringing a gun. You're bringing a gun? Yeah. We can't stop me with a gun. That's all you're doing? I can only bring one item. Whatever you want. I'm bringing a gun. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I'm bringing a cell phone. Okay, but they're gonna be like, "What the fuck is this witchcraft?" <laughs> okay, sh- should not be gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> but you're just gonna see I'm it. Gonna have it. Okay. Uh, I'm bringing modern clothes. Okay. No, I can't because they're gonna give me diseases. I'm vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, I'm bringing modern clothes. Okay. I'm gonna work out for 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 like for like a year straight before I go, so I can come back to like I come I go back in there to have the best body of all time. They're not gonna think I'm real. Okay. Okay. Um. What's what's your plan? Like, what is your plan on conquering the world with these items? See, that's the thing. I don't know what items I'll take. I I I really only need is my mind. Your mind, and you'll be good. Yeah, because like I I would know information that will will save like will 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 take over. Mm-hmm. I, I have the, my knowledge would take over. Not, okay. not not no item, but if I had to have an item, obviously I would have a gun. Yeah, a car. Niggas would be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, yo, a uh, car would be fire. A car, I gotta have a car. Nigga like, yo, this is witchcraft. But like how the like like how the fuck are you gonna use that car? No, I'm gonna bring a bike. I feel like they had bikes back then. Though. They didn't have no bikes. The bikes was created in like the eighteen hundreds. I'm For talking real? about fourteen, thirteen hundreds. For real? Yeah. This this is why this, I have to bring items. I have to bring things that for I don't want I want them to think that I'm God, bro. Okay. You yeah. know what you know what I'm gonna bring? All right, I got a question. If you have Alexa, right, do you need Wi-Fi for Alexa? Yeah. Fuck, you do? I'm thinking like... The Siri, I don't think you need Wi-Fi. All right, you know, you know what I'm going to do? All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring a gun. I'm going to either bring some type of vehicle with me, like a bike or like a like a hoverboard. A hoverboard. Something some futuristic. Or a Tesla like, with a charger. But yeah, that, where the fuck you... There's no electricity here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to bring that. I'm going to bring a speaker and my cell phone. So I could play music. Uh-huh. So they'd be like, what the fuck is this? I'm going to play scary music. I'm going to scare these niggas. Yeah. This is my plan, though. I'm going to have my gun. I'm going to have all this shit. I'm going to free the slaves. Right? Uh-huh. Free. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill all those slave owners. I'm going to free me some. I'm going to be, be an outlaw band. So I'm going to create an army of slaves. Yeah. Because they're already angry. Uh huh. So now they're going to look at me as God. And I'm the only nigga in the world with a gun. Yeah. So now, I don't know how a gun's going to be. You think that armor could really that gun a gun could pierce that armor like a knight armor? Yeah, probably. Okay, no, that's st- that's real steel though. That's real steel. But like, I got the mind though. They're not as smart as me. Uh huh. So now I'm gonna cut. And you got headshots. Too. And I got head exactly. So now I got an army of slaves that's already mad, free all my people, and now we're gonna take over the. We're gonna like we're gonna free more slaves along the way. Like each kingdom, we're uh-huh. just gonna keep freeing them. Cause I'm the only nigga, but damn, we need bullets. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna take. I, I'm gonna need like a. The gun is like for like emergencies. I'm gonna have to, what's a, what's a, oh, am I bringing chainsaw? You said medieval times though. Yeah, but like, they had slaves back then? Yeah, it is. But slavery was a thing for a minute, bro. Okay. I think, unless I'm fucking stupid. I don't know if they had like, I don't think slaves was the problem back then. It wasn't, I mean, I think like it was, let me think. Let, let's, let's fact check myself. Were there slaves in mid. You gotta think about it too. If you come back, with, if you come with too too much technology, they're gonna just say you were a witch and kill you. I know. I Get to, into the media. Have to come with knowledge. Yeah, they did have slaves. I have to come with. I think knowledge is the big. They have to think that I'm God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, how are they gonna make you? How are you gonna make them think you're God? That's what I'm saying. Like, get the slaves and like they'll, they'll already well, look at me as God because I saved them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm literally the, their savior. I gotta be well dressed. Like like suit and tie. I gotta, just, I gotta stand out. I gotta have a haircut. I might bring some poison. Nah, but they, they, they specialized in poison back then. That was their thing. What's a weapon that doesn't need like too much shit? That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to think. A crossbow, maybe. Ooh, maybe they had crossbows though. Or arrow. Yeah, I think they had that shit. 
I need something. But I'm, I'm definitely going to bring a bike. Because them horses might not. Either a bike or like a... But I can't even charge that shit. Damn, we mm-hmm. shitty right now. So I don't think we're taking over the world. You don't think so? Uh-uh. I don't think we got the right game plan. I feel like we got the minds, though. That's what I'm saying. I have knowledge. All right. You, all right. So say it's me and you. You think we can go... I think we have to just learn how to... In, how to like... Like simple shit. Yeah. We have to invent it back then and just keep inventing shit and then we'll be like God. They'll, they'll look at us as God automatically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's going to be hard though. It is. But I think if we, we have to prepare yeah. before we go. Like game plan? Yeah. What's our first thing? Are we taking down the king? I feel That's like the we, first thing we're no, we can't. But go, like, we, think we, about we're, we'll be the smartest people in that time. Like, we could we could become the rulers. That's what I'm saying. I don't think we got to take them down. I think we just got to be smarter than him. We we oh we, we could, you know what we could do we could definitely we know how societies and economies and what you call we know how this shit work and mm-hmm. back then it didn't work yeah we could we could show them a way that works exactly we could show and they're gonna be like hold on that's better than this dumbass what this niggas is saying exactly that's what I was saying with the Let's, slaves we with these two niggas we'll learn we'll learn how to make running water this one canals canals we'll learn water powered shit. We gotta learn how. We gotta learn how. What you call it? Did that Tom Edison? Did, it's Tom Edison, right? We gotta learn how he, how he made electricity. Electricity. That's we gotta, we gotta that's learn. fucking difficult. Like we how the learn, fuck are we, we, gotta we gotta learn, learn how to do that shit? <sighs> when we have, once we have an electricity, we're lit, bro. I'm gonna have my guns though, so we won't have to, We have to have the tool. So no. Because no. literally, say we say we get close to the king, Bop. He done. Bye. And like it's it's what the thing bang, they ain't bang, never bang. it's what the thing they ain't never seen before. That's what I'm saying. That bang, might be bang, that. Bang. That mean that might be all they need, bro. That might be all you need. That's God. That's what I'm saying. You are like you did it in an instant. Like you didn't have to stab him nothing. That's what I'm saying. If the knights come get you, boom, boom, boom. Like you get them out of here too. Then now I they say all some scared. shit. Then I say some futuristic shit, and niggas gonna be like, I'm like, yeah, someone so if you don't do this, follow my rules, blah blah blah. And just so a couple of years, this shit's gonna happen. Mm. And, and if and if and if they if they if they stop me, the shit's gonna happen. And like, hold on, that nigga was God. Ooh. And now I have a cult following. Damn. I think we could do it, bro. I think we could do it. Then we just got to prepare. Yeah. That's like a, that's like two, three years of preparation. That's what I'm saying. And then they send us and we're good to go. I think we could do it. <sighs> All right. Damn, bro. That's crazy. I think we could do it. Niggas can really go take over the world with a cell phone and a gun. If they... if they a even... cell phone and a gun and a, and, a, and, a, and a bike or a car. A bike or a car. One of those two. And a dream, bro. That's all we need, bro. It all starts yeah. with a dream. Where the fuck Jay go? I don't know. She's probably pooping. Think so? Let me text her to see where she at so we can end this pod. You got anything else you want to talk about? I don't know, really. I had a, uh, I had a, uh, a urban legend, but I can't like. I'm, if I tell the story, it's gonna be ass. I don't, ha- I don't really have it down pat. You want to save it for another one? Yeah, I'll save it for another. Why don't you one. tell me? You guys told it in the beginning. Nah, but even then, in the beginning, it's still been ass. What is it about? What is it called? It's called the Smiling Man. I don't think you ever told that story in the pod yet. Oh, you don't want to talk about it? I don't know how to say it. Like if I still if I say the story, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be like you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to post it, bro. Is, is that? Uh, got you, got you. you save it for the next one. Save yeah, for the next. One. I'm, I'm just gonna get the story down pack and for me read over it and then like. Look at it. I know it takes a lot of practice. I ain't gonna lie for me. I be having to put like notes down and shit. Yeah, no. You think you could create your own scary story like off the top of your head? I think I could. If you give me a week to think about it, I think I could. Let me let me see if I can do it right now. Let me see. Like like camp story, camp story vibes. People gather around the campfire and sing that campfire, campfire song. That C A M P F I R E S O G song. I fucked up. And you don't like it. That's why we're all twisting. You're wrong. And Jeff and we just sing along. Boom, boom, boom. C A M P F I R E S O G song. C A M P F I R E S O G song. All right, so I have a ghost story, a scary story to tell you. So, actually, let me tell you. Dang, I can't say. There, let me, so, in my old middle school, Kwame Middle School, there was a bully, mm-hmm. and the bully always used to pick on this one kid, mm-hmm. nerdy, geeky kid, until one one day, so walking down, the nerdy kid tripped him, yeah. bully started chasing after the kid, chased mm-hmm. him right outside, and right outside of our school, we have a swamp, yeah. chased him into the swamp, both kids ran to the swamp, teachers went to go get him. They only pulled, they pulled out the nerdy kid. He was beating up really badly, but they couldn't find the bully. Mm-hmm. They didn't know what happened to him. Yeah. So they searched for him, searched for him in the swamp. They couldn't find him. They don't know if he drowned. They don't know if somebody took him. He was killed. 
They don't know what happened. So the go the story of the Kwame kid is that either something like the bully didn't beat up the kid. Yeah. It was something else that beat up the kid. Something uh-huh. in there. So recently when I was in middle school, we we used to go down the trail a lot. But like we never knew about like the whole story about the shit. But they told us that in, in um English class. So we go down the trail. There's there's two trails. So we go through the trails. Mm-hmm. And I remember one of the kids used to say he used to walk he walked home and something he heard something in the in the bushes, like something ruffling. He thought it was an animal. So he kept walking. He just kept hearing footsteps walking behind him, walking behind him, walking behind him. Turn around, nothing there. Walking behind him, walking behind him, nothing there. He gets towards the he's in the middle of the swamp. Because like there's like a trail that leads to like the other side of like uh where Morris Ave is and shit, like over there by the lows and shit. Mm-hmm. And then he feels somebody he feels somebody behind him. Turns around, a tall ass figure, dark figure, had a freaking what's that called like a little piece of glass on him cut him right in the face and the kid was able like he fell on the ground and like scurried away he was able to get away and then he told us about it but we just didn't believe him until like i guess people they're so supposedly they think it's like a hobo living in there either a crazy homeless person or some ghost that he's just explained the story wrong it wasn't a glass somebody actually scratched him but we don't know what's in that fucking swamp that's why we used to play manhunt in that motherfucker. And like, we used to, people said they used to hear shit. They used to see shit. And like, you don't go too far into the swamp because how the swamp is, it's like you, there's two entrance, one on here and one on this side. This one, if you keep going straight down, it's like a path. So that should lead you to the other side. This one, it just, you just go in and then you just go to like a little area of dirt and then. There's a there's a swamp right there. Mm-hmm. We only stay on this side. We never go down that path because that's the path that the kid went down. Yeah, seen that shit. So we ain't never go down that side. We if we ever played or been in the swamp, we always come this way. Got to clean that up a little bit. Nah, but the, most of that shit really happened though. Oh, uh, like that. I, I could tell that she was you was making up as you go. It was not bad. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try. It. All right, okay. You try right so, now. Go ahead. It's an urban legend, right? In the city of. Uh, Man, 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 touching County, New Jersey. Uh huh. Right. It's a story. It's a, it's a story of these two twins, right? Yeah. Um, Bodie and Jake. Mm hmm. Um, Bodie and Jake lived in this townhouse, right? Yeah. Where their their mom was a drug addict and their father was abusive alcoholic. Damn, terrible family. Mm hmm. Uh, cars was car, they, the cars was dealt wrong, right? These kids, but they was happy kids though. They yeah, was happy kids. They went to school every day, you know. So one day, they didn't go. They didn't come to school. Uh huh. And the teachers was like, "Oh, where's Jake and Bodie at?" A couple more, a week go by, they didn't go to school. So the wellness check was done at their house, right? Yeah. When they walked into the house, they seen the wife, Jake and Bodie, hung back to back. And then the dad with a gunshot to his head. Mm-hmm. And no one understood what happened. The house was cleaned up and the house was sold. And then when new people moved in, yeah. the kid had sightings of Jake and Bodie in his room. Uh huh. But he would only come out at night and he would tell him, run. <laughs> he would just tell him, run? Run. Yeah. But no explanation. So. One time, the kid followed the voices and seen a lady doing drugs in his living room. He went upstairs to call his mommy, and she was gone. Uh-huh. And then at the end of the day, his the, that same kid found his mom, his brother, and his father hung in the same place Jake and Bodie was hung. So he should have ran. should have ran. Damn, bro. And then at the end of the day, now they say... If you if you live in that house, you get the same fate, and you can't tear the house down because once you step into the house, your family gets the same fate. So they just leave the house there, and whoever enters the house, their family, their family gets the same fate over and over again. Damn, bro. I, I think that was mid. That wasn't that bad. You don't think so? That wasn't that bad. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good off the spot. But thank y'all again for tuning into another episode of No Regrets Podcast, episode number eighty eight. Thank you again me? for Shout pulling up, Corey. Then you get for giving us your intake on the world and shit like that. That's what I'm saying, bro. I told you about these pictures, bro. Type shit, bro. I told you you can't trust these niggas. Bro. Follow all our socials down below if you haven't already. 500K on TikTok, 8K on YouTube, 8K on Instagram, 6K on YouTube. 
going up day by day. Merch coming soon within a week, I promise. Uh-huh. We're going to get y'all fly for the summer. Don't worry. Do you have any words for the peoples, bro? You know I got a words for the people. Y'all follow the socials, bro. Follow everything, bro. The Discord, the YouTube, the Instagram. Or like, I got to be under your bed and I got to like wait for you to go pee at night and then come behind you and smother you with a plastic bag and so you can't breathe no more. Why would you want me to do that? Exactly. Well, I, I don't want to do that. But if you don't subscribe, I got to do that. We don't want to do none of that, people. We don't want to do that, bro. Just you subscribe. It's not that hard. It's free. You feel me? A sponsored by... Can I see one of those? Sponsored by Black Forest Organic... Gummy Bears. Organi- organic Gummy Bears. Um, this is our new sponsorship. They give us free candy every day. And we got to get we, out of we, here. We love it. Thank y'all for tuning in. We different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.